What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and I got the lovely ladies in the building. Welcome to Wide Wednesday. Before we introduce the lady, we got to do the eulogy of air power. Air power. Oh, my God. Air power. If y'all haven't watched my funeral video today, this has been a sad, sad month or lack thereof month or before month or the last six months of Apple. Oh my God. So Paul Barron's members of the congregation, it's funeral time. Air power has been canceled. If y'all didn't know what air power is, let me explain. Air power was Apple way of giving you a wireless mat that could you you could take your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your AirPod 2s, and lay it on this beautiful, gorgeous mat and wirelessly charge them. But unfortunately, Apple yanked the cord and said that Air Power would not come out. Why, Apple? Why? Why, Apple? Why are you deceiving us? Why? For years and years and years, our fans have embraced change. But unfortunately, Apple have effed up. <laughs> and they yanked air power. All right, so uh, I want to get that eulogy. All right, so I want to introduce, <laughs> I want to introduce the lovely ladies in the building. Catwoman. Yeah. <laughs> very beautiful words, Eric. Thank you for that eulogy. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I make this shit up as I go, don't I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Fuck air power. Let's move it on. <laughs> Ashley, oh Ashley, I'm so sorry. What's going on with your body, Apple? <laughs> what's up, you guys? You know, I'm not really sad about air power. You can't really miss something that never was. So, ah. it is what it is. But if Apple came out with AirPower before Samsung, y'all be like, I guess what? We better than Samsung. But you know what's so funny? Samsung got a wireless mat, fast wireless charger that you could put a Galaxy phone and the watch. Oh, and it would charge. And it works. And Apple couldn't do it. I'm trying to figure out what is the point of a wireless charger? What? Like, what is the point of it? Like, you plug it into the wall regardless. So what is all the point of, them, of using it? Yes, but not all of them. Not all of them? Yeah, you got some that you charge the device, but it's it's a charger independently without yeah. being plugged in. Yeah, I'm not here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. Phil Schiller came across the stage and he says, no device out there like this. Our engineers have put something <laughs> together that ain't never been done. I want to introduce you Air Power. Remember 2017, he walked across the stage and he introduced a product that wasn't in, in existence. They talked about it. They had pictures of it. They had an iPhone sitting on top of it. They had the uh, AirPod sitting on top of it. They had an Apple Watch sitting on top of it, and it worked. And all of a sudden, that product never came to be. It's it's it was a vision. It was nothing. Why Apple? Bad. I feel, like, I feel like it's pointless. Like, what is the point? You have to charge something anyway. So why use it? Well, because uh, if you if you follow the uh, the tech industry. Now, Samsung been having wireless charging on their devices for, what, 10 years. Um, you know, I, I don't know what, why. I don't know. Well, I was kind of shocked that they didn't come out with um, their own wireless charger when they first added it to their products. That shocked me. Yeah. But that was, that was going to be expensive. But still, they use their own chargers and stuff. Why not? Ching ching. <laughs> <laughs> they put their foot in their mouth. 
They put the apple cart before the horse. <laughs> oh. You know, I so, feel like they shouldn't, they shouldn't have mentioned anything. Like, why mention something if you don't have it? Because it worked. They said it, that it worked. <laughs> but unfortunately, according to their words, after much effort, we have concluded air power will not achieve our high standards and we have canceled the project. We apologize to those customers who were looking forward to this launch. We continue to believe that the future is wireless and we are committed <laughs> to push the wireless experience forward. Dan. Rico, Apple Senior Vice President of Hardware All Engineering. Right. So that statement right there, the wireless is the future. It was the future. So yes, the Apple want the wireless to be the future. But unfortunately, it just didn't happen. Bad. So for everybody in the stream, we want to say our last goodbyes to Air Power. I want everybody in the stream to say, Ashley, no, I'm sorry, but honestly, I would put it this way I only wirelessly charge at night, so I'm not a big wireless user either. <laughs> I am up. I am with the wireless. You know. Oh, I know you are. Yes, <laughs> I'm a wireless. You take player. your wireless everywhere, Catwoman. Like, what do you do? What do I you have do? one in my office, one in my room, one at work. I have one in the car. <laughs> I have I have wireless chargers everywhere. Oh, so you <laughs> nope. basically have a wireless charger everywhere that you have a port to plug in your device. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> one. I just. I just love the convenience of being able to pick up my phone and then put it back to charge. And, and oh. I don't have to worry about breaking the port because that's always the first thing to go, the port. Oh, aggressive. All right, so we yeah. got some super chats. Um, I, and I, I, and I, I missed them. Uh, I think Mark Teasley uh, <laughs> gave a super chat also. Um, who else gave a super chat, guys? Uh, Total Tech. Total Tech, yes. Thank so, you, Total Tech. Thank he you said, where's the super hats? And then super Mark Torian the second mm -hmm. didn't say anything, but he gave us two dollars. Thank yes. you, Mark Torian. Two dollar, two dollar, two dollar. Thank you very much for that two dollar. <laughs> two dollar. Though he was, you know, though Apple wasn't able to give us um air power, at least they were give they were able to give us a new excuse that we can use in the future. Because you know <sighs> when the when they first created Oh, I'm sorry, you feel that way? Well, now, if I don't want to pay my bill, I'm going to call the mortgage company and I'm going to be like, I'm sorry, I cannot pay my bill because it does not achieve the highest standards of my wallet. <laughs> I will pay you next time. I'm going to call work and I'm going to be like, hey, I'm sorry, I cannot come in because it does not achieve the highest standard of my schedule today. So I will come <laughs> in the next day. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Here's the thing. We cry when phones come out with no wireless charger, right? Everybody going on OnePlus say, well, it don't have no wireless charger. It don't have no wireless charger. Oh, uh, but when we do have wireless charger, right? People like wireless charger is stupid. Why people want wireless charger? I don't want wireless charger. And I'm saying to myself, okay, we want our kick you need to shout out to Timothy for the two dollars. I'm sorry. One dollar and ninety-eight cent <laughs> super chat. <laughs> he, he on the iPhone. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Nice. And that's so, and that, that's so stupid, right? They take a penny for they need that penny. Chat, right? They need that penny. You, get, you get a penny. You get a penny. You get a penny. <laughs> Who knows? If they had their pennies earlier, then they probably would have been able to have come out with air power. <laughs> I feel like they changed it up. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So I just I don't believe Apple anymore when they say anything. Yeah. I actually have a song for Apple. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. I'm getting a little tired of you broken promises, promises. Getting a little tired of you broken promises, promises. Getting a little tired of you broken promises, promises. Getting a little tired of broken promises, promises. <laughs>
All right. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody give Catwoman a round of applause. All right. All right. So as we roast Apple tonight, we got to talk about some pleasant news, right? Galaxy S10 5G. It's coming, y'all. Are y'all ready? <laughs> 6.7 is phone. Got 855, 8 gigs of RAM. Go be the be all, tell all. <laughs> we heard that Verizon Wireless going to bring this phone out. And they, they, they cranked up their 5G. They ready. They claim they ready. Let's see what it's all about. And so nah. is AT&T. AT&T, AT&T is ready. That's they it. got the 5G. I already got my 5G. E. 5G. Yeah, 5G. So ATT got that 5G E going on. So I mean, so when you get your so when you get your Galaxy S10 5G, I wonder if 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 ATT go put a 5G E on a on a on a Galaxy S uh 10 5G. I wonder if they're gonna put 5G E on it. On the S oh. on the Yeah, so this is it. Hyper fast. They're not just fast. Hyper. Hyper. Whoa, got we got crack on that shit. Yes. <laughs> Zach. I got my man Zach in the building. Thank you very much for the $10. You know what I'm saying? Thank, Thank you, Zach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate he said, it. here, keep up the great work. Cheers. And then he put beers clinking together. Clink, clink. Clink, clink, clink. Thank you. <laughs> this phone looks like an alien. It looks out of this world. Yes. Woo, full cameras on the back. God damn. Look at that. Woo. Yeah. At least it doesn't look cross-sided. Yeah. Got full cameras on the back of that thing. So that means that this phone will have six cameras. Yes. Uh-huh. Six cameras. Well, so it's beat Nokia, right? Ain't Nokia got six cameras? But yes. these Samsung's put their cameras right. The Nokia phone looks like <laughs> alien. Yeah. Woo! Um, but I'm going to be honest. I'm not excited for it. Well, you know, there's no 5G right now. So, I mean, well, not because of that, but just because my, my wallet. Oh, it's yeah. making me feel very sour grapeish, you know. Since yeah. I can't have it, I'm just gonna act like I don't like it. Oh, hashtag! <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hashtag eight hours. You could get it, Mister Catwoman. Co-sign on that. Um, 2019. He's um he's being a little stingy. Oh. oh. He's um, well, not stingy. But the real he's question just... is, are you being stingy too? Mm-hmm. Me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am not stingy. I am never stingy. As a matter of fact, I got him a new band for his watch, and it came in today. No, I wasn't talking about that, but I was talking hashtag eight hours. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I've been a little stingy with the eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. No eight hours, no phone. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> One good turn deserves another. I need to uh, go get some so, like a big old box of five hour energy, so that, that <laughs> there <energy>. you go. <laughs> See, that's why you got the phone, yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I like talking to you guys. You guys are like my <laughs> therapist, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> See, when 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 Ashley wanted her iPhone 10s Max, she didn't have no problem now. Now, Johan's still rocking a broke phone. But she got her brand new phone. <laughs> and and eight she, should. And she doesn't she break her phone. <laughs> hey, we working. Sure look, Ashley is working on that Apple Watch right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to track my fitness. Yes. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. See, and the hubby's got to want to invest in it. You know, keep her healthy. It she'll keep you happy. Yeah. I've got to right? tell them it's for the channel. It's for the channel. It's for the channel. It's for my health, <laughs> my lifestyle, everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. So, you know, I mean, what y'all think? I mean, y'all think that this uh, Samsung Galaxy S uh, 10 plus 5G version is it gonna sell or what? No. Why? Because it just looks like all the other phones, but it's just more expensive. Yeah, it got four. Ca- it got six cameras on it. Nobody fucking cares. Who's gonna notice that? Yeah. Who's well, gonna be? Who's gonna be like, ooh, look at my phone. I got more holes than you. Like who? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> what? I really don't think nobody's gonna give a damn. 
Well. Well. <laughs> it has to be like a distinct difference between the other phones for people to notice it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Now the foldable joint, because it's going to look distinct, it may or may not, you know, people may or may not want to go for it. But at least that looks different. But the mm. 5G doesn't. I don't know. I just feel a little bit bombarded by Samsung. They're just giving us too much. And then they might have a smaller note. Like, who wants a smaller note? How big will the smaller one be? You know you want to pull your little pen out. <laughs> <laughs> Show your little pen to the class. I would be so embarrassed if I had a little pen. Imagine <laughs> it looked like I sharpened it for too long. <laughs> Oops. Little ass pen like this. You have, to, you have to hold it more dainty. It should be like this. You gotta. Oh, okay. Just, just pinch, pinch it. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Nice and delicate. Pinchy, right? <laughs> I want to hold it like it's chopsticks. <laughs> you know, Catwoman, she's into girth. So, yes, I am into girth, but not weight. I don't want it to be heavy, but I don't mind it being girthy. Mm. Right. So, I mean, when it comes <laughs> down to the to to the S pin, the S pin got to be got to be like uh, with weight. It has to be right. I mean, what you think, that one? Maybe a good S Pen will work. And, well, you know, they're just gonna give us that flimsy plastic shit. I hope not. <laughs> I know you hope not, but that's most likely what's gonna. Mm. I don't yeah, they think make they're really gonna bring any kind of innovation to it whatsoever. Well, they, they don't have a choice. I mean, wait, wait hold on, wait, 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 time, 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 hold on, hold on. The Galaxy Note is supposed to be the best phone Samsung put out. This phone better have six cameras. You know why I got to have six cameras? Because of the 5G model got six cameras. So the Galaxy Note they can't come in with no four cameras. Five, six. They got to have six cameras on this thing. And it has to be 6.7 inches because it can't be smaller than the, the Galaxy S10 5G. So it has to be big. You think the, the pen is still going to fit with all of those cameras? Well, well, here's a problem that I have. We hear it that the, the pin go have the camera in the pin. No, oh, that's gonna be fucking dumb. Camera. No, don't do it. Okay, yeah, it doesn't reach the camera, so it should be fine if they had if they had four cameras there. Yeah, uh, man, I'm telling you, they bet they Samsung bet not do no camera in the S pen. Don't do it. Well, I heard that was for like next go around anyway. It wasn't for this go around. I mean. You know, a lot of people complain that the uh, the Galaxy Note curved screen is it's you know is is something that's interfering in the S Pen operation. Like if you're writing on the screen, you do run into issues with the curved screen. So a lot of people want Samsung to make the uh, the, the device flat. They want the device <laughs> flat. They want a flattable joint. Yeah, they want it flat. I want it flat. <laughs> I like flat screens too. Yeah, I mean, when you got the curve, it, it, it's it's bad. It's bad. And look, shout out to the screen protector. It's screen protector cracked. Cracked. You see that? Ooh. You see oh, that shit. screen protector? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's all right. It's all right. Shit. That's, well, what we... you buy, that's what you buy screen protectors for. You drop your phone, you crack the screen, you just take it off and buy a new one. How much is that screen protector? Right. Ten bucks? Yeah, ten bucks. And oh, guess what? Shit. Yeah, but it's tell, safe. Tell that to Johan. That's how he broke his. Save, save my phone. This, this is this is why you buy glass screen protectors. It cracks. So now you gotta buy another one. I got another one. I'm good. Yeah, I always keep a spare. Hey, that's twenty dollars. Hey. You know how much it's going. Oh, I don't spend twenty dollars on those screen protectors. Yeah, you know no, how, no, because he bought paid ten. Now he bought another one. That's twenty dollars now. Um, yeah. Girl, we'll talk after the, after the stream. <laughs> you, you get to see what it is. <laughs> I'll let you, girl. Okay, yeah. you gonna be my connect? Yes, I didn't sent you connects before though. I done got screen protectors, glass for three dollars. But but I like my white stone dome. Oh well, get that for forty. 
Ada. Ooh. 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 White stone dome. See, I haven't put a white stone dome on my phone. Right? You uh, don't know what you're missing. I mean, it's, <sighs> that shit's it, fantabulous. And I don't know what happened to my screw, my wallpaper. I, I've been look. I've been <laughs> using, I haven't used my uh, Galaxy Note in about two weeks, so mm -hmm. uh, I, I, it's been booted down. So I just booted up in my wallpaper. Go with yeah. it. my wallpaper. <laughs> no, they will. No. Look who this. Surprise. So I just booted up in my wallpaper. Go with it. Oh, he got he got feed me going on. He got three rolling in the background. Echo, echo, echo. It's the remix. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Jay? What's happening with you, bro? My bad, y'all. Yeah, okay. yeah, he came out. He can't hear. He can't hear. It is. He didn't got no headphones. Trying to get set up real quick. <laughs> yeah, you see, he can't hear. So we could be talking about him. He don't even know. Yeah, I can get some. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just talking about you. It's been a minute since I've been live. I forgot how to do it. Oh. Oh, well, you know. It's like we riding a bike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, we, be, we do it so much over here on this camp. You know? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, what's up with you, man? Mm, mm. Still no audio. Then... <laughs> See, still gotta get ready. My bad, y'all. I didn't mean to interrupt the stream like that. I, was, I thought I, I, I <laughs> I've been live in so long, son. I, I forgot how to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to LeBaron. Twenty dollars super chat. That's what Thank I'm you, LeBaron. Did you send that night mode? All right, I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, LeBaron, he be sitting about that, and he get he be in this call right about now on his way home, and he be live streaming like, you know, <laughs> it must have been. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I mean, look, here's the thing about the Galaxy Note 10. Galaxy Note, man, I keep talking about this, and Jay Will, I can chime in. Samsung, don't put no cameras in this pen. Give me a premium heavy pen. I, when I pull out this pen, it don't feel quality when i'm right on my screen it don't feel it feel cheap you got a good beautiful phone and you got a cheap s pen and that's that's my only crap about this i mean samsung's got to do it they got to do what they got to do it's ridiculous they got to do what they got to do and uh I, I mean at the end of the day they got to do what they got to do what's up in the pen yeah, yeah, man. Uh, we've been hearing rumors that. Uh, all right, so let's let's go back to the Galaxy Note 10. We're hearing two Galaxy Note 10s coming out. We're hearing a little bitty, itty bitty, small version. Then we're hearing the boss looking at the 6.7 inch. Uh, we're looking at four cameras uh, on the back, two cameras on the front. Uh, we don't know the screen quality. We I doubt if Samsung do 4K. Um, so we're hearing two versions uh, of and my, my thing is that I don't know if I'm cool with Samsung doing a small Galaxy Note 10. So Galaxy Note 10 E is supposed to be a small version. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not I'm not digging it. God, dog, I got all kinds of stuff going on. I got buzzing oh everywhere. Oh, yeah, I got buzz. I got buzzing everywhere going. Let me put the I put the phones on the floor. I like it. You like it? Huh. Would you get the 10E? The note 10E? I might be feeling that little that little small joint, man. I don't know. I'm, I might check it out. I bought I bought the 10E Samsung, but I got bored real quick, son, so I got rid of that thing. Yeah. So what makes you think that you would be interested in the note 10? I got bored with the 10E. Jay Will. <laughs> she can't hear. Oh. Can't hear. But how do you know we were talking about the note thing? So wait a minute. Love the note. Wait, I love wait, the note. So hold on, time out. We got I, I don't think Jay can hear us. I think he on the delay thing. Oh. Hey, hey, you, 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 you delayed, man. You gotta we we you gotta put your headphones in. I can, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. okay. So I oh, was okay. asking you, Jay Will, what makes you think that since you got bored with the tattoo, yeah. <laughs> that you would be I'm interested gonna, gonna, in uh, the... This is wait, see, I, what makes I, you think you would like the no ten e better? The, the I think it's a, it'd be a note though. It'd be a Galaxy Note. So I'll, <coughs> Galaxy Note. I'll, it depends on how big the screen is. All right, well, you know. All right, so we got to do that. A guest came in. Tanner does tech. How you what's doing, up, sir? What's up, everybody? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner, hey, hey. hey. In the building. What's, what's up, up Tanner? Yeah, so, I mean, we we discussing uh, Samsung and the Galaxy devices. Uh, and and we, we talk about the Galaxy Note 10. The uh, Samsung is supposed to be coming out with two versions. And... Um, but the two versions that Samsung is coming out with is supposed to be a smaller version and a bigger version. Uh, what's your thoughts about this, Tan? I know you just jumped in. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I done heard about it actually literally when I walked through the door. And I, I feel that it pro it's probably cool, you know what I'm saying, to get a smaller version or whatever. But, you know me, I let the tech do the talking, so I got to get my hands on the device and really see how it goes. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the if 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 Samsung come out with the Galaxy Note 10, the E version, for a thousand bucks, and then come out with the Big Daddy for fifteen hundred, yeah, I think people gonna be upset. Hmm. <laughs> I think hmm. be upset. I think the only advantage the Note 10 E would have over the regular Note 10 would be is if it had a flat screen instead of a curved one. Well, that's what the E was, and that's that. Look, that's the key, and that I I, I know a lot of people complain about the Galaxy Note with the curved display because if you go back to like the Galaxy Note Four, remember the Galaxy Note Four? Oh my God, one of my favorite phones. And yeah. then when the Galaxy Note Five came out, it had the curved display. They, they you ran into problems with that. Uh, people was upset about that. People wanted the flat. So hopefully Samsung would do this. Now I'm not digging this cam this camera in the S Pen. I, I I I'm not I'm not where, where you see that it was gonna be a camera is that is that on some of the leaked information? Yeah, that's leak. Uh talk about they're gonna put the cameras in the S pen, man. Wow. You know, I, I don't, I don't know pretty. about that. I, I mean I'm definitely gonna be feeling the smaller version more than likely, depending on what the price is and how big the screen is, but I don't know about a camera in a in a I don't know about that. So. Right. I, 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 it brings me to the the past, right? Remember right. how they used to have cameras in the Galaxy Gears? How yeah. Some of the perverted yep. people yep. were doing. And so, yeah. can you imagine these perverts with the S Pen with a camera on it? Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, that to me, that brings <laughs> up a whole lot of perversion. <laughs> going on somebody got a camera in the s pen and you can see them going under somebody you know sorry ladies the dresses you know and wow. that just sucks there's sick people out there trust me we already know this that's why i am not digging this camera in the s pen i would rather have a mic before it would have a camera yes. yeah oh, yeah. yeah i agree the microphone would be more utilized properly than a camera like 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 yeah, you said there's so many pros out here g you could use the remote feature of the s pen to start the video and then put the mic put the pen like in your pocket or something like that or put it close to you that'll be boss right there real talk mm -hmm. real talk that'd be like that'd a lapel mm -hmm. you need to call samsung real quick and tell them to implement that yeah I, mm -hmm. we, we got another person just hit the stream LeBaron in the building what's up what's good y'all yeah. yeah. LeBaron got his night mode on. I see you, LeBaron. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy in his night mode. <laughs> oh, no, uh, I'm still just tripping off when you said that last week. You was like, I don't like night mode. I was like, so you just like your picture's dark, huh? <laughs> you know, it, it's just, look, it's, for me, it's a parlor trick. I mean, it's, it's, it's decent, but it's like... How many pictures do you take late, late at night? Really, truthfully. Well, mm. well it all depends. Like, yeah, I, hey, exactly. It all, it depends. all depends because <laughs> we got a lot of night owls. All right, so, all right, let's go back a couple of years. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a, a scenario. I did this. Everybody will talk about the Google Pixel. Remember this? I made this video. Oh, they was upset with me. They will talk about the Google Pixel, the best thing since sliced braid. The Google Pixel One. I said, okay, I bought the Google Pixel on a boat cruise with me with the Galaxy S7, right? And when I was nightlife, 
I was taking a lot of low life photos because this was listen. I, I I remember this like it was yesterday. Everybody, all the big tubers, everybody was saying that Google Pixel was the best thing on the planet when it come down to low life photography. Hmm. Okay, I beg to differ. I bought it out in the nightlife and I took some photos and the Galaxy S7 was spanking it up and down the street, right? And people was coming to me like, easy, I didn't know the Pixel was that bad. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> I, I was taking all the nighttime photos. So I say that to say that some look, nighttime photography is a little different for, for, for different scenarios because some people like the, the detail but the darkness. I think what the right. night sight is blowing the picture out so sometimes you get more grain in this, and it looking like a nighttime photo is in the daytime. And that's okay. what my that's what my main complaint is, is that, okay, like, somebody just, I meant to send that to Kimmy, and I, I got to find it. Somebody did a review, right? I think it was uh, Super South. Super South you did a review. You sent it to me. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Last the week. thing is, is the, 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 the S10 actually had better photos. Hmm. And, 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 you know, regular night photos. Okay, but when you take the, the light completely out, yeah, okay, the night, the, whatever you call it, the night sight works great. But it's not a good photo. It just works. Okay, it's a parlor trick. You can cut out all the lights and take a picture. Who does that? <laughs> no. I mean, you can use it when you're outside you Rambo style and there's no light. Yeah. You use I don't have to own at night i've taken pictures in the daytime with night mode and it brings out the picture so you Ooh. just on how you use it right mm. yeah. but don't, that don't that blow out don't, but but don't that no okay. see night sight and night mode are two different things night sight i think is what pixel or whoever night mode is yeah. what okay right right but i mean look cameras are subjective and, and what exactly. you why because it's like everybody may like certain photos and see see what i do in, in what jay does and a lot of youtubers does and look here's the thing when i do my camera reviews i i don't give the win to either or i let that the consumer be the judge for themselves like what jay will do is he go out and he be like hey guys what y'all think about this what you believe in and, and, and look at these shots and stuff like that so right you know you let the consumer be the judge for themselves because some people like natural shots and some people like oversaturation. Some people might say, mm -hmm. hey, that, that looked bland, but some people like the Samsung oversaturation. Look, I talk about this, and I don't. a lot of people disagree with me. Even though I love Galaxy phones, I cannot use their cameras. Samsung took Pro Mode away. And shout uh, out to Canada Dust Tech. He uh, did an exclusive video talking about Pro Mode. And terrible. I agree. Listen, I tried to shoot a video with my Galaxy S10. It was a nightmare. Man. Because it lost the focus point with this. It was just hopping all over the place. But if I had pro mode in video, I could do fixed focus. I yep. could do white balance. I could, I could change up my aperture and stuff like that to make sure that I got the perfect video as I'm doing my panning. You can't do that because you got focusing issues. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, and and the viewers know that too because once they're looking at your video and they see the blurriness jumping in and out and whatever, it makes the device look like it's damn near twerking and it's a damn it's a damn whole damn debacle and everything. And then you got to start from scratch and shoot your whole footage mm -hmm. all over. It's crazy, man. Uh, you, hey, you say hey, you say cameras are subjective. <clears throat> what about those cameras that never reach the U.S. shores? Like mm. the Mate twenty, the Mate twenty oh, X to me ooh, is yeah. probably. I see a lot of phones. The people in the U.S. they only buy what they have. They, they, what this within their reach, but some people reach outside of the circle. You know what I'm saying? And they go get the real stuff, like the Xiaomi Mi Nine. The Mate Twenty X was probably the best phone I personally ever used because I ranked that camera higher than the Note the Note Nine. Yeah. And like you said, when you pick a side, people try to climb you for that. But whatever, yeah. let's keep it moving. But the the S Ten E when I bought that, it was alright. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like blown away, but. It, you know, it's time to circle back around to the Mate 20, man. The Mate 20X is probably, it's it's those phones that people can't get their hands on that they just don't know about, and then they would have Kimmy, a different, they, they would have a different feeling about cameras. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kimmy, insert comment here. <laughs> I say it every week. I say it every week. 
camera is um that camera is boss, man. That that, that Mate Twenty, I think it's better than the Note Nine. You know what I'm saying? But um, some people just will never experience that. You know what I'm saying? They'll never get their hands on some of these some of these cameras. I try to do phones that just don't, you know, you just don't. The average consumer probably wouldn't get. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. Samsung is within their reach. iPhones is within the average consumer's reach. So, but you're right. Cameras are subjective. You know what I'm saying? I do like some things about my Samsung phones, but I wouldn't take a Samsung camera over the Mate 20X out on a bad. Day. Mm -hmm. and, well, what, what happened with Samsung is, is they did a whole 360. And instead of making the cameras better, they actually made the cameras worse by taking away Pro Mode. That's a 180. So, yeah, you know, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. I mean, so, you, you know, when we, especially when you put it, look, I got a video coming out, and I did this with the V40 and the Galaxy S10. And oh boy, Ooh. oh, Ooh. one of those. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I still mm -mm. say, I still say it's a method to their madness because I, I honestly don't see anybody being that dumb. Um, honest, well, then Apple, you know, mm. proved that that can be the case. But <laughs> I, I just, God damn. <laughs> I, I, I just don't see. I think that they pulled it. I I think what Samsung is doing this year is trying to keep themselves relevant every month. So every month they're trying to do something like um, it's rumored that they're supposed to do uh, uh, what is it? An, uh, the night mode on they're supposed to do an update to, to get, you know, the night mode, the full night mode like the uh, Mate X. So I got a feeling that what they're going to do all the way all year long is have something hitting the market, whether it be an update, a mid-range phone, you got the fold coming out. They're trying to, I think they're trying to dominate the news cycle. All well, year. well, here's the thing. And, and, and I'm just going to be real with y'all. Now, a two, this us go back two years. I, I, I started this maybe two and a half years. I talked about 1080p, 30, 60 frames per second. Everybody dogged me out about Samsung. Oh, my God, easy. You got all bad phones. And for two years, I talk about 1080p, 60 frames per second with the full focus in those Samsung devices. It's not until some of the bigger boys out there, the bigger publications talked about 1080p, 60 frames per second, something got done about it. Now, the Galaxy S9 proved that, that, that Samsung listened, not to me, but some of the bigger channels, because 1080p, 60 frames per second was fixed. It now, was bad. People, Huh? It was bad. It was bad. Absolutely. I said, I said it was not that great. You know, even even on the um the Note Nine, man, it was still focused on. When I was at CES trying to live stream, it was jumping all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That's the Note Nine. Right. And, and, and but 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 that say now we on this promo debacle. Now a lot of people been upset with me because I've been talking about Galaxy S10s. Now here's the thing. I said this. I said that I need phones. That can replace my LG phones. I, I, I talk about this. I say my LG phones is my devices of choice for filming. I mean, I green screen make, make and all that stuff like that. Make 20X. It, right. It's, 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 it's <laughs> shutting down all your LG, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> make 20X. Hey. It's shutting your, it's, it's putting your, your LGs on the sideline, bro. No, no yeah. lie. But, but, Jay, I say that to say, I say that to say that I'm, I thought that the, the Galaxy devices was going to be the be all devices but it was yeah. not they it don't they don't you can't even control the games on a, <laughs> on a samsung right. you can't you can't even control the mic gain on a samsung yet so for well, all that money that they ask you know what's going to be a sleeper is the g8 when it comes out that's Ooh. that phone is going to cost 600 on t-mobile yeah and it's already out right now but that phone right there is probably going to be better than some of the samsung phones i'm waiting on the sony <laughs> xperia <laughs> one that phone will replace oh, my yeah. LG phone yeah. Listen, yeah. without a doubt, I can see that being my daily driver. I'm sorry, man. I, look, I got both the Xperia 10s. Uh, I got both of them. I got the, the small yeah. one and the big one. And yep. I'm, I'm loving both yeah, of them. Yeah, they're good. So, I'm crazy, can, though, remember? Why is it me and you are always the ones who's crazy? You know what I'm saying? Remember back in the day, like, oh, man, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. They used to say, me and you, we don't know what we're talking about. And we lying, and we don't got it. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> look, it, it's so crazy. And, and a lot of people telling me that and I, I got, I got, I went, look, I, I, ain't, I got both of them. So I said, I'm like, I, I'm loving the only issue that I know that the experience won't go fix is the, uh, the sound. I mean, it's really mute. 
and uh, you know the sound quality the speakers is not that you know it's not as loud as i like it but the the picture quality watching movies on here looking at youtube videos is absolutely amazing on these phones so no, it's not, man you lying son you no. lying it's crazy <laughs> you crazy son. can i can i say something that yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about with the oh. um with pro mode on the Samsung phones. So a month ago, somebody figured out that if you uh, go to the pro mode section on your video, I mean, when you're recording, and then you turn on a uh, voice and you say record video, it'll actually record record in pro mode. So like this person here is recording in pro mode, right? But anybody who got the update after January, you can't do that. Uh, so well, they completely... So there was a hack before that, but after January, you can't you can't do it anymore. So before you were able to film pro mode with the Samsung One UI, but after the update in January, everybody who got the Samsung One UI after January, they took it off. So see this person here, they're using, see, they're here, and then they turn on um they turn off the locations they do voice control they go over to pro mode and then they say record video hmm. yep. well well he's so a, i'm worried that they're taking it off completely that it's never going to come back well See, he's recording in in, right. in manual but, mode but but here's a, here's a problem kim here's a problem cat woman to re listen if it, it, and I think this is maybe a, a, a iPhone thing. iPhones don't have manual, and that's why I can't shoot no. I, I can't even use an iPhone. It's, I can't shoot no videos with an iPhone. I, I I can't do it. it. It's it's one of those things that I I did my. Oh, yeah, I talk about this. People go sit tell me to stop saying this, but I did my first music video with using an iPhone. My first <laughs> video. Oh my God! Listen, people, you need to stop talking about it. But. I did my first, somebody recorded a song for me, for Christ's sake. And I shot my whole entire video using the iPhone. And I look back and that's the worst video I ever made. What well, iPhone was it though? It was the iPhone 10. Man, you need to hmm. go ahead and <laughs> something wrong. I, 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 don't, I, I, I like Apple products. I, I, you know, my iPhone, iPhone well, 10 is cool and everything, but video recording to me is more realistic on the iPhone than the Samsung phones. And then the Mate 20X is better than those. Well, what, mm -hmm. what happened What happened in the video was, is that uh, as I was recording it in the outside parks, and I was recording in different scenarios, the white balance was was tripping so bad because I was in so, some areas that had shade, then it went into oh, yeah. light. So the yeah. white balance was going in and out. I mean, you can see the video. It, yeah. white it was like going bright, low, bright, low, bright, low. Yeah. As, wow. as I was filming, but when you, if you had manual mode with fixed white balance, that wouldn't have happened. So, the problem with manual mode is nobody uses it. That's why I don't know why it's such a big deal. Nobody uses manual mode unless you got an LG. Right. All the phones so, I have, I never use pro mode or manual mode unless it was an LG. So, 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 so I want to talk to Timothy. No, no, listen, I, I am not paid to talk stuff about Apple. <laughs> I am not, it's, not, it's not in my DNA. Listen, I talk. If, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know you watch my YouTube channel. How many times have I went in on Samsung? Oh my God! People thought that I was getting paid by Apple. I dog Sam. Listen, I ain't gonna say I dogged them. I was critical of Samsung. Pro okay, give you an example. When I talked about the y'all, uh, the, the 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 rattling, the rattling. I made a whole video about the rattling. I talked about 1080p, 60 frames per second for two years about Galaxy phones. And so, and if you look at it in that perspective, Timothy, then Apple is paying me to talk s about samsung right that, that let's talk let's be real about it let's be real about it because if if you look at my history of videos i have really been critical of samsung devices yeah way more than apple devices yeah but that's not the case <laughs> yeah mm, mm, mm. so uh, uh, you know here's the thing no fluff, no passes. Let's let's keep it real. Let's talk about facts. Apple was the one 
that screwed up in 2019 with air power. They 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 talked about it in 2017 <laughs> yeah. and they released it in 2019. Let's talk facts. Let's, yeah, let's, let's give it what it is, what it is. It's Apple yeah. came out with what with these with these big old notches with no pro mode and no no this and no that, right? Let's let's keep it real. Apple having stepped up to the plate to give us me tech enthusiasts <laughs> what we want, right? Yeah. So let's keep it real here, right? I no. mean, Apple, it don't give you a dongle in a box. No. Apple, <laughs> you know, want to give you AirPods, but don't give you Air Power, but it's on the box. Nope. On the box. <laughs> this, this, no charge. Let's be real, right? So when you talk about I'm getting paid by this, I get paid by that, I look at it like let's keep it real. That's all. Let's keep it real. I, look, I love Timothy. Yeah, he's been on my streams. He's a big supporter of this channel. We debate a lot. So it's all good. We have fun. But they did say that iPhone 11 is going to come with a fast charger in the box finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, for real, for real. Jim. That's going to be like a yeah. $1,700 phone then. So that's gonna be <laughs> right. That's, that's going to be an expensive phone right there, man. <laughs> man. All right. So uh, let, 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 let's, let's, let's ask this question out here to the stream. In the last year, with all the woes of Apple, do you really think Tim Apple, Tim Apple, is 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 feeling pressure right now? You went from a trillion dollar company to a half a billion dollar company. 30, 40 percent of your you know business kind of, you know, it, it look average. People like, well, the eye sheep will always continue to buy Apple, but at the end of the day, it's all about the stockholders. Are you think the stockholders is happy going from a trillion dollar company to where you at right now? Are can you I answer that? Can I answer that question? Yeah. I think in a year, Apple is going to change their name to Lemon. <laughs> 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 They're holding a lot of L's, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with an iPhone. It, it works. I mean, when you get an iPhone, you already know you got a grid of icons. When you hit the, when you hit an icon, it works. I mean, the app open, you're good to go. It open slow. <laughs> it, it don't. The, the Apple social media is better. This is my take on. It. I've said it a thousand times. Social media is better on an iPhone to me than Android. But Android is ten times faster, like processing the things that is happening. So, like if I open Twitter on my iPhone, it's like a five minute, five second delay with Android, instant. But the experience for me is better on Apple for social media, like Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Right, like that. but Jay, let me ask you a question, Jay. They came out with iPad, iPad minis and iPad Air 2s. Ain't that like a slap in the face a little bit? I mean, you yes. design, yes. design it the same. They like it. They recycle parts. You know, <laughs> that's I what think. it is, though. That's what it is. I mean, from a from a marketing standpoint and a business standpoint, if people are going to buy it, you know, why change it? You know what I'm saying? Just keep selling it. But I think at this point, the reason they, they cut it in half like that son, is because customers are starting to wake up and they're starting to say, look, I don't need to be a part of this upgrade program. I can go ahead and just stay where I'm at. So my phone still works. So why would I need to switch? And that's probably why their profits decline so much. Like me, I, I got rid of my iPhone 10 Max my iPhone 10s. People didn't even know I had a 10s, but I got rid of all of my 10. I got rid of all that stuff and kept my iPhone 10. I got two 10s. I have 256 and 64. And unless the 11 or whatever it is is like flawless, um, I'm gonna buy it probably to review it. But will I keep it? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Because this phone right here is almost. Well, are they, aren't these almost like two years old or something like that? Yeah, they, they're going on two years. It still works like brand new. I still got an iPhone SE, son. So I think the customer base is what they're losing, which is, you know, it's, it's taking care of their pockets. Because again, like you was talking about Sony, I'm waiting on Xperia 1 too. Ooh. Samsung is is just, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be Samsung. They're going to sell way more than Apple, you know, but you know, there's other companies that are, to me, better than Apple in a ton of ways. But if customers don't see that, they don't know that, you know what I'm saying? They, they're never going to, like customers won't buy Huawei because, it, because of something that happened with the CEO's daughter. I personally don't care what happened to the lady. I don't know her. You know what I'm saying I ain't got no stock in Huawei, so why do I care? I mean, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? That sounds harsh. But I'm, I'm sympathetic to her situation. However, she a billionaire. She don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? So what, I don't care what's going on in the news with these people, man. If my Huawei works or my Xiaomi works. I'm rolling with it. If my Apple works, I'm rolling with it. You know what I'm saying? But 
the customers is, is what, the reason I think they're losing all that money. But let me ask you this question, though. <clears throat> Apple did this, and I think a lot of people don't know what happened here. Apple was rolling with an iPad that was $279 that had pencil support. I got one. Right. So and, and, <laughs> right. And they replacing that with a $400 iPad. They're greedy. They're greedy. So they, they replaced it a $280 iPad with pencil support to a $400 iPad. People don't like they, People ain't chilling. They like it's a $499. But that's the same iPad that they were selling. Obviously, upgrade, upgraded specs for two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a joke, man. It's like it's like telling the customers um, instead of saying hi, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? They say, "Oh, you so stupid. Go ahead and buy this again." That's really what they're saying. Like you transfer to <laughs> translate that to a different language. Hey, Dodo Brain, come here and buy this again. And the customers do do do. They're going right over there and buying this. You know what I'm saying? So the upgrade programs are one of the worst programs for all OEMs, like Samsung. Don't give up your product, son. Keep, you paid for it. Keep it. Use it until it breaks. But unfortunately, people follow us, techies, and uh, you know they feel like they bought it, so I gotta buy it. And uh, you know, I'm just like, yo, don't don't blame me because you're going bankrupt trying to. Some of this stuff I get for free, son, and, and most of it I buy it. But that's the problem. I think now there's no more TV. You know what I'm saying? Like I look at some of my shorties, they watching YouTube. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for a new shirt. Like, why are you on YouTube? Let's go to the store. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube and Social media has replaced, you know, all the interaction that you could possibly have. You know, you go to the outlets and things like that. They empty out there, man. Everybody's mm -hmm. sitting on, in their car looking on YouTube trying to find <laughs> the next pair of Nikes or something like that. It's, Apple has yeah. done the, the best at playing customers and the worst at taking care of customers. Like, for but real. You, for but, real. You, but you know what, TK? I mean, if you said TK, I'm, I'm free TK. <laughs> <laughs> My, the, the, the question is, though, when us YouTubers... Right, and I like what Tanner does tech did with the video he released today. Is that sometimes the real realness of us? We bear the responsibility to make sure we get the real truth out. We get the real truth out, and we tell customers, "You be the judge for yourself." It's your pocketbook. It ain't. We, I'm not telling you to buy this, but I'm going to keep, keep it real with you if you like it or not. Yep. I'm just keeping it real and see what Tanner did today. Right, he he released. Uh, probably the first video I ever saw of a Galaxy S10 with his issues of having camera problems. And look, I was going to make a video about it, but I got so much other stuff I'm doing, so I ain't getting right to it. But I say, well, this is what, what I'm talking about. We, as, as smaller content creators, well, Jay, you know, you, you're the big boy. I'm still a small creator, brother. <laughs> Me and you go to the same events, bro. Come on now. <laughs> I'm small. But we we bear the responsibility to make sure that we get the the, uh, the, the real point across to to people. Because me, I try to keep it as real as I, as possible. I talk about no fluff, no fluff, no passes. I be having funeral videos. I be having yeah. judgment coats and all that stuff and all that, you know. But it it just the thing of me, us as content creators, we get and people hate us for it. People hate yeah. it that we tell the truth. People hate us because we well, you're not unbox therapy, MKBAT. <laughs> you lying. You lying. Exactly, and you lying. So here's the thing: you be like, "Damn, son," <laughs> you know, what I'm right? You know, <laughs> Tanner, what do you think about that. Hey, bro, man, I had to make that video, man, because it was really bothering me. But I know a lot of you know, what I'm saying subscribers and everything, they would say, "Well, man, maybe it's your device, just your device." But me, I go ahead and ask <laughs> a, a lot of other influencers that got the same kind of phones. And a lot of them said they had the exact same issue, whether if they had a Note 8, a Note 9, or whatever. It's just the update with the 9 and 1 UI that messed up the phones like that. And they got to correct that. So, man, yeah, I got to tell it. I got to tell the truth. I got to bring it to you. That's that's what the, man, that's what I subs deserve. You know what I'm saying? I can't get on there and finesse and BS nobody. You know what I'm saying? Then somebody go to the store with false hopes in their head or whatever and try to buy a device and stuff just because I said it's fire, then it's crap. Then they look at me like I'm a damn liar. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. So yeah, well, I did. Well, you know, here's really the problem, that. Tanner. Influencers do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're getting a fat check, bro. That's the difference. Like, I bet your Patreon, your Patreon don't look like the people who have five million subs Patreon. Because you know I don't like, need a Patreon. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I'm talking about. If you had one though, you I know you noticed this, right? You see people with uh, 900,000 subs, right? And they have, they have a Patreon. You're like, well, why does this person have a Patreon? Every video gets a million hits, you know what I'm saying? 
and people donate. Oh, here's a hundred bucks. I was, I was, I'm always on stream creeping around. So I'm sitting on this stream and people was dropping two hundred dollars per in the Patreon. And I'm like, wow, this person has got mad cash from these videos already. Not that I'm trying to, I don't think they should get their hustle on, but those people are already getting money from the brand as well. Let's just, if you can go all the way 100, go all the way 100 with it. They got the phone for free. They didn't buy it. They got it for free. And they, they also get the high points of the device to tell the customers. And if they say something derogatory or negative about a product, they say it in a way that um, we all know how to be tactful, but if we get on the video, we're going to say, you know what, this this does, doesn't look good, man. It's not the best. I'll recommend you go get this other phone that's $229. We get told, oh, no, 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 that's, you don't know what you're talking about because so-and-so right, said, right. and they're getting Patreon from these people. Right. They're, getting, they're getting a paycheck from the from the brand, and they're getting millions of views. That's this not that's like, reality. Uh, personally, I don't really like bright screens. I mean, if that's your thing, you know, maybe... That's not something you want to get her. I don't really like saturated colors. I'm like, who does not like colors? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me yeah. who. The fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. That's but, crazy. But you know what happened is, Jay, in, in, in the tech world, you got your influencers and then you got reviewers, right? It's a different yeah. category there. You have. Huge it's, difference. A, it's a huge difference. Here's the thing. And it's. And look, when you say two hundred dollars, I've seen. You know, I'm gonna say the name PewDiePie. Have you ever saw his stream? Oh my before? god! Man. I mean, the guy made thousand dollars cash, man. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just like you know. But at the end of the day, everybody run their channel different. So yeah, it is yeah. what it is. He do his thing. He get paid. I and my thing is this to to my subscribers. You know, when you come to Easy Computer Solutions, I'm gonna give you the realness. I'm gonna give you whatever that I feel my opinion. And, 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 you know, it, it, I get this all the time. Jay, you get it. And I'm quite sure all we get it is that they say, well, so-and-so say this. You are mm -hmm. wrong. So-and-so say this. And you are wrong. And I get that. They didn't put the links down in my comments. Yeah. I, it blows me away when I see that. Yeah. So, like, I'm supposed to watch somebody else to influence me to change my mind about a product. <laughs> I mean, well, if you it's know what? Tutorial, it's funny, yeah, but if it's, like, just somebody's opinion. You, on your emails that you get for like when, when companies email you and say, yo, you know, you want to review our product? Mine never says tech reviewer. It's funny you say that. It always says, uh, it says, um, uh, what'd you say? Influencer. Mm -hmm. Like it, they don't label me as tech reviewers. It just says influencer, dear influencer, you know, saying uh, we want you to help us push this product. And I'd be like, uh, don't tell me what to do before I even get the product. Let me get it first. And then let me tell you if it's bad or not. And then that's, that's the thing. But I, I don't know. That's a, I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of strange you brought that terminology up, tech reviewer and influencer. Which right. one are we? Right. Which one are we? Like, I thought I was a tech reviewer, but I don't so, know. So it's like you got to influence people to go ahead and buy the product, right? I don't want to do that, though. I just want to show them. Right. I only started my channel for the right. same reason Eric started his. I got right. tired of people lying to me, saying, oh, this was mm -hmm. great. Then I bought it and was like, this thing sucks. So okay. well, You can't was, look at it as a bad thing all the time, J. Will. You influenced me to try imports. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I, I love, it. I love doing the import. <laughs> so I guess, I yeah, guess, yeah, I love doing the import. Yeah, I love you're doing the import. You ain't yeah. influencer, So it's like it's a fine line, then. I feel like it just depends I'm, on the it's person. It's not all bad, is what I'm saying. You can be right, an influencer right, right, right. and not be bad. Right, right. I like to influence so, people to make the right decision. Truth, that's all. Be a, be a truthful influencer. That's right. What yeah. Yeah, because I I don't see a problem with with being labeled as an influencer. That's your job. To influence yeah. people the right way. It's just mm -hmm. everybody doesn't use their influence for the right thing. Pun it right there. Pun it all the way. All well, the way. you know why? Because when you got a lot of zeros behind that one, y'all gone right. You start seeing things. Look, when you got the briefcase coming and it's loaded with cash, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> wait, I got to say what? <laughs> I can't do that, son. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I just don't have it in me. I don't do that in my real personal life, and I just don't think I could do it. I don't think I could pick a, pick a paycheck and be controlled by someone. Right. Um. I just don't think I could do that. I, I I've taken paychecks on you. That's all the way one hundred. I've taken right. paychecks on YouTube before, but it was to license my material. So that means that's where you want to be. You want to get to the point on YouTube where people want to use your material and they want to pay you for it. I've gotten a lot of those. Like they take my video and put it on their website and I'm like, write that, 
write the check. Good. Take it. Take 10 minutes of it, five minutes. Get, just give me my one-time check, and I'm good. I've definitely taken those before. However, not going to be controlled in a sense where they say, here's what we need you to say. Those are the type of situations where I'm, I don't have a lot of subs. I'm <laughs> not going to – I just can't do it, man. I can't do it. Well, I have a question. Uh-huh. What's the difference between an influencer and somebody at the mall trying to have you buy a perfume? And spraying on you. That's well, a big difference. The same yeah, thing. See, yeah. touch it at that point. They're trying to influence you to buy that perfume. Yeah, but but you could you could spray it, you could touch it, and you could you mm. could you could be the judge for yourself. Uh, that's but a- see, and then to me the difference is that's a salesperson. See, right. I'm a salesperson. When I'm in my shop, I'm selling people stuff. Okay. I'm I'm I and I am going to sell you popcorn. But an influencer, to me, is someone that influences you. You're not trying to sell for Samsung. You're persuading you're, someone. You're, you're persuading you're, them. That this camera is better than that camera. Exactly. You're hmm. educating them. You're, you're educating them on something that they wouldn't readily know. You know. And okay, so I'll I'll ask a different question. Same same scenario, but what's the difference between an influencer and somebody at the carrier store pushing a cell phone? They suck at the carrier store. They, yeah. Number one, yeah. They don't know number what they're one, talking about. I agree. Half of them don't know anything. Ugh. Matter of fact, if I end up in one of those stores, I end up telling the customers more about the product than the, the guy <laughs> selling the product. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's, Some, the carrier, that's the carrier store's biggest problem. When you go to AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, they, they, they employees... It's not like us techies, right? I mean, yeah. they, they need to find techies like us that study the product, know the product, love the product, embrace the product, right? <laughs> they just look at, I mean, people say, I'm just getting paid. I don't care about this. You can buy an iPhone if you want. I'm trying to get paid. Right. Yeah. And that, that is the wrong approach because when they commission base, and it, it, it listen, they will lie, cheat, and steal to sell you something, even if it's not the truth. Because they're trying to make a paycheck. They they try to feed it. Oh, they're trying to push old products or, or uh, out like and stuff Apple. like that. Give it inventory. Like Apple. Yeah. 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 iPhone exactly. I, who would buy an iPhone six? You know why they're giving it away for free. That's yep. <laughs> who would buy an iPhone six? You know why they give it away for free. Yeah. They're I think free. also the difference between somebody at a carrier store or you going to a retail store. Is that you already know that they're trying to dig into your pockets. You already have that preconceived notion. But when you watch somebody's video, you feel like they're trying to be your friend. And they don't even really tell you the implications of the video sometimes, too. They don't like really make it clear. With, like I, was friends, I became friends with Kimmy. Yeah. It's like, hmm. like that. All does some tech stuff. Yeah, but you, but, but you know what? Here's the biggest thing. And, and look, we going back to what we said about influencers and tech reviewers. And, and Jay, me, and, and, and Tana. Listen, man, I get tons of emails, and I do what I call them promo videos, right? Like the, the video I released today. It was a promo video, but it is a video that, you know, I, 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 I told the truth about. It's a mid-range product. The video I it's, 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 it is what it is. It's, it's not... A, it's not Bose, it's not this, it's not that, oh, but it's a mid range product. But I mean, I got I, they bought the briefcase, but I didn't lie about the product. And this, <laughs> is, my <whole> thing. <laughs> this is my whole thing. It, it, when they bring the briefcase, they, they got to understand that listen, I'm not gonna lie on this product. I ain't gonna lie on it. You can give me the briefcase, but I ain't gonna tell you it's the best thing since sliced bread. I ain't gonna tell you that you, you better go buy this right now. Better buy this right now. I ain't saying all that. Hmm. Well, I, 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 what I'm gonna give you is a good professional video, the best way I can. But I ain't lying on your product. It is what it is. I'm going to give you my thoughts based on the price. See, here's the problem: if you buy the two hundred dollar phone and it blows me away, it's blowing me away because it's two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. It ain't gonna be no eight fifty five twenty gigs of RAM. It's gonna be a, a six thirty processor, no gigs of RAM, and yes, it's blowing me away based off of the price. See, a lot of people get that confused, and you know, Jay, we talk about this, that when we, I review a product based off of the price point and what you're getting 
based off the price point. Like, I mean, I'm not going to say this this product sucks, it's slow, it's laggy, but you're only paying 150 or 200 bucks for it versus a thousand dollar phone. That's a totally different review. A thousand dollar phone, I'm going to pick it apart. It's right. like, that's why I'm talking about lagging this or, or this. I'm nitpicking on a thousand dollar phone. No problem. You know, right. it, it, it's a total difference. People don't understand. Two hundred. Well, it, it sucks. And, and why do people get this in the head when you talk about six thirty processors and six three six processors? They say, "Oh, it's garbage. It's a slow phone." I said to myself, "I'm using it as my daily driver," and right. I'm like, "No. Why would you? Why would you use that as your daily driver? Why not the eight fifty five? I'm like, because it works. But see, that's 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 the fault of today's reviewer reviewer slash influencer because what what happens when the newest product comes out? The only thing everybody's reviewing or looking at is the latest device. No one, I think you easy you are probably like the only person that will go back and find other devices and review. You know, it's just you and a very few. Uh, hmm. Guys that are do it, everybody like right now. I mean, for the last two months, what have we seen? Galaxy S E yeah. S and the the Plus. Okay, that's all you see. You see it 120 different ways. Okay, of a review of that product. So now the consumer that watches these guys think the only chip that exists right now is the eight. What is it? The eight fifty five. The eight forty five is out the door now. You know, hmm. if anything has an 845, then, you know, it's, it's garbage, it's old. But what people don't realize and what the reviewers and the influencers are not educating people on is that 635, the 845, those are still, those chips are very capable uh, chips. Like, I think the 845 can shoot up to uh, okay, 50 see, megapixels. See, 50, look. 4K60 all the way. 4K60. Right. You know? And it just, you know, so people don't realize that and don't understand that. I'm still rocking the Note 8. Mm. You know, I'm still rocking the Note 8 because the Note 9, I I ordered it. Look, I ordered the S10, right? Sent it, uh, sent it back, canceled it, ordered the Note 9 and canceled it because I'm like, you know, that Fold and the Note 10 are going to be the two devices that I'm actually going to go and get. Mm. I'm a tech junkie. And if this processor is capable for me, I know it's capable for the average person. And I use my phone as an everyday computer. I hook it up to Dex. I don't think most people can do as much with their phone as I do with mine. So it's, I want to jump in real quick. When you was talking about um, influencer uh, slash the other, I think the real question is for people who don't review phones on this panel. Like, you know, pretty much everybody does. But the question is for maybe I would say um, Tech Valor. I know she probably not gonna know, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Uh, Gadget Goddess, do you guys know what the new mobile G3 is? No. Nope. You don't? I just know. I just know there was yeah. a, no, a two, and then now a three. Yeah, hmm. I've never but touched see, the phone, but I know about it. See, but yeah. it's actually a good phone, though. Yeah, but people, yeah, it is. like you was talking about education. The problem with the way the new mobile did it is they sent it to a thousand people, so it looks like they're not really selling. It. It's like only people that's kind of pushing it as tech people, and I, I see that phone. It's a hot phone. You could definitely use this phone every day. Yep, and it's what 179 bucks or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. That's a hot phone, but unfortunately, people like he like LeBron said, people it's about the education part. People mm -hmm. are not educated on it, they don't know because all they know is I gotta buy Samsung. And the average consumers, they're not looking at processors, but like he just said, the 600 processor, if I had to pick any one of those, it would be the 632 or the 625. That's from personal experience. I've used pretty much all of the 600 series, but. That new mobile phone, people won't buy it, man, because it's called peer pressure in the tech community. People are now watching YouTubers, and now YouTubers are on TV. Haven't y'all seen MKBHT on TV? Like on TV, yeah. TV? Yeah. I saw him yeah. on TV. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, I'm kidding. I didn't see it. Where was he? TV. Yeah. I, I saw him on TV um, with, um, what's that cat? Um, 
I saw him interview Kobe on TV. Some people saw that on YouTube, but I saw that on TV. And then I saw him with Bill Gates on TV. I was like, yeah. what the heck? Yep, Elon uh, Musk. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some people in some uh, advertisements before movies, too. Yes, I saw MKB. I was at um a Marvel movie or something like that. And they started talking about Samsung. And he popped up on the oh, big screen. Cool. And I said, wow. Oh, wow. Is he an influencer? Is he trying to just, is he educating people? I give him, he's definitely educating people. But he's at a level where he's just the blue all the way up. You know what I'm saying? So how yep. much of it is education and how much of it is the bag? You know what I'm saying? Like how much is, <laughs> you know, because he's getting the bag for sure. He gets, he gets well, the, bag. The, the briefcase is in the Yeah, life. he getting the bag for sure. <laughs> and the thing is, is, so what it is, is for him, he has to be politically correct in everything, in his approach and everything. He Why? has to be politically I'm, I'm hmm? politically correct when I talk online. It's just that the problem is I'm not just going to take no bag just to be, right. I'm not saying this is what he's doing, but I came from the corporate world. Like before I was in the military and law enforcement, and all that, I went to the corporate world after that. Let me tell you something. Once I, the farther I went up the ladder, the uglier it got. Hmm. If I wouldn't let them control me, they didn't want them to do with me. Then I wasn't politically correct. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I was and in the corporate world for many years and it is a piece of work. Right? You don't want to be there. Right. And that's mm. that's what my point is when I say politically correct is that because I don't like being I I personally don't like politically correctness. <laughs> because when you when I say politically correct, a person that's being politically correct can sit in a room with a hundred people and try to appease to eighty percent of those people. There you go. There yeah. you and go. if you're yeah. being political yeah. if you're appeasing to the majority of the room, you're lying to somebody. Absolutely. No question about it. <laughs> yes, sir, <Facts>. yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, that's how it is. Hey, Batana. Yes, sir. Hey, man. I talk about this, and, and you know, I, I, I talk about this a lot, man. I've been noticing the huge difference in YouTube channel, man. I, I really appreciate how you working very hard on your channel. If anybody that 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 hasn't followed Tanner Dust Tech, you got to go follow this guy, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. You've been working your tail off. Your videos been really fresh, man, and it, it motivates me to work hard, man. And I, I know uh, I do my thing, man. So, what what's motivating you to 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 uh, do this YouTube stuff, man? Well, basically, man, I really appreciate those words, man, because you motivate me. So does um, Jay Will and a lot of influencers, you know, saying that's out there. And what, and what motivated me lately was I took a break and, and stepped back because the lady I was dealing with, she had cancer. So I had to handle that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it kind of made me realize exactly where the hell I want to go with everything and life in general, you know what I'm saying? So if I wanted to go ahead and create a channel, I want to create the channel that I want to watch, you know what I'm saying, E? So it's right. like, okay, cool. I want to go ahead and get informed, but at the same time, I want to laugh here and there, you know what I'm saying, and not just be, you know what I'm saying, bound to one damn company, cell phone company or whatever, or a smartphone or whatever. I was going to let the tech do the talking and let God take the wheel. You know what I'm saying? And that's the real talk, man. That, that's what's been motivating me lately. And I appreciate that, bro, bro. Yeah. And I mean, I, 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 when, when I look at your, your videos, it, I see your passion and stuff like that. And, and, and look, I've been... Look, Jay, we've been in the game for you know over ten years. I've been in the game for four years, and we, we, when I, I, I watch it, you know some of the a lot of y'all smaller YouTube content creators, I see the passion in some of y'all work, and it, and it motivates me. It motivates me, and and, and but uh, you've been doing an outstanding job, and and the video you made today, wow. And when I saw that, it's like you know that's one of the things that we need more of. We need more of the truth. You know, and you told the truth about, you know, some of the things that we all witnessing, even though a lot of people might say you got a lemon, you got a bad device and all that. Yeah, that's yeah. beside the point. That's your opinion about the product that you really have. That's the whole thing. Yeah. It's it, A lot of people ask for your opinion. A lot of people ask for the things that you believe in that phone or uh, in that product. And a lot of people get upset when you say things that you don't, that they don't want to hear. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people just kind of shy away from the truth. But then again, the truth is a beautiful, you know what I'm saying, a beautiful weapon. You know what I'm saying? So it, it lets you realize a lot of stuff and broadens your horizon. But, but you oh, know yeah. what? I, 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 I said it's like new mobile. New mobile did the best thing on the planet. Yes. 
They gave their devices out to the smaller YouTube content. Right. None of the bigger boys made videos about it. No. And I love that they did that. Yes. I really appreciate that they did that because, you know, us smaller content creators, you, we, it's hard for us to get reviewed. They said, but we, we just be real about it, right? <laughs> you know why they didn't make those videos, those higher YouTubers? It's because it did not achieve their higher standard. Yeah, they don't have the 855 and 20 cameras on it. You know and what I'm saying? They didn't get a paycheck either. Yeah, it, it was no <laughs> No, oh, I, look, yeah. true story. True story. I was at, I'll go ahead and say the company. I won't say the person. I was at a ZTE event. Remember, I used to work for ZTE, remember? Oh, Lord, they was paying me. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at a ZTE event, and, you know, I've gotten, you know, I've gotten, to where I'm good to talk to people, you know what I'm saying? And like like she made a joke out of that, but it's the truth. It didn't meet their standard, or you wouldn't pay me to bring me out. I wanted to be the feature at your event, so I'm not coming. I've seen that more than once. More than once. More than once. Wow. That's the kind of stuff that some of them have said at some of these events. And I've actually bumped shoulders and rubbed shoulders. Eric did it at the Note 8 event. When me and Eric hung out in New York, he did it then, but w once you do it multiple times and talk to some of these people, it's kind of like um, some people have been so bold as to say, you know, how much you getting? I'm like, wow. <laughs> what makes you think I'm getting something? <laughs> but New Mobile, New Mobile, you're right. That's a hot phone. Man. They did it right. You know, they, they gave it to, like, everybody. So they gave they gave it to everyone to push that product. I just hope that they're selling some. I hope that they're selling yeah. some. They yeah. gave out a ton of those. I, I hope so. I hope so too. And Jay, you make a great point. And whoever Ayana is at New Mobile, salute to you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she's been looking out like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just sent me that Bluetooth speaker that I didn't even know they made. That Bluetooth speaker is phenomenal and banging. Trust yeah. me. Jesus. I don't think New Mobile New Mobile is is losing out on money because every company has a has a advertising budget. And most mm -hmm. likely, what they did was instead of making a commercial. Or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. They took right. that money and they made extra products so that they could give out to people, which I and think is smart. Right? Right. And you know what? It worked because for a lot of small content creators was making a bunch of videos about yes. it. Yes, yeah, oh, yes. A lot of yes. people started complaining, like, yes. oh, I'd have seen new global videos. That's a good thing. And then I hope you're new to the face. <laughs> and then the thing is, you know, the, th the thing is, is they did that. Everybody knows who New Mobile is now. Yep, so when right, they yeah. coming out, yes. when they come out with that next device, yes. it yeah. ain't gonna be no introduction needed because everybody yes. knows who New Mobile is now. Yes, yes. yes. And, and shout out to New Mobile, man. They follow me, man. They hit me up. They hit me up mm -hmm. on Twitter. They hit me up on all my social media. Trust me, they are engaged. Yes. They definitely heavy, engaged. heavy engaged. So they are working around the clock. To make sure that they get their product, they 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 point across, and look. Truth to be told, they make a two hundred dollar phone mm. that's good, that looks good, feel mm. good. Of course, they put the media tech process in. It's two hundred dollars for Christ's sakes. What do you think they will put in it? The eight fifty five? Right, oh, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they're gonna put the media tech process in it. It's two hundred dollars for Christ's sake. Yes, I think people get this all messed up. They be like, "It's one seventy nine. It got the media tech process in. It's a no go." Uh, how much you think you think the phone go cost if they put the eight fifty five in it? It's it's astonishing, and but yes, you got to put the uh the media tech because media tech chips are cheap, but they're good. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't sleep on media tech processors yeah. because it's a media tech. Don't sleep on on the with the the, the new P thirties and stuff like that. Those chips are good. Absolutely. They're, they're putting six gigs of RAM in it. Come on, people. And to put the and and to put the cherry on a Sunday, they give us three months of Mint Mobile free. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Right. <laughs> and so I think people get caught up in specs. All right, what about the specs? What about the specs? What about the specs? And I'm like, oh my God. Oh, I got 12 gigs of RAM in my phone. What do you have? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the, the thing about it is, look, I when I it's so funny. I tell people I'm rolling with a Sony phone with a 363, a 636 processor in it. 
Oh my God. Oh, easy. Why you ain't rolling with the big dogs? What is the big dog? I think I, what I'm rolling with is the big dog. What is the big dog? What, you're not rolling with the 855. The 845 a day. See, this is the thing. What they say, 845 a day, 835 a day. Why? Why is it day? Hmm. It was good when it first came out, right? Mm -hmm. This is the thing is that you hear, I, it, I, I, there's a guy that I deal with, uh, a partner of mine, and he raves about the cameras. He's always got to have the latest and the greatest, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to him one day, and we're going back and forth, back and forth. So I pull up my, my Google Photos app, right? And I was like, you know what? You're raving over these cameras, but unless you saw, if you didn't see what phone took the camera, nine times out of the picture, nine times out of ten, you would not be able to tell me what's what. And he <laughs> swore, no, I can tell, I can tell <laughs> this year's camera from last year's camera. <laughs> Why did I pull up photos from my 2014 vacation? Okay. <laughs> I, I pulled up photos, right? And he was telling me which one was taken with the Note 8 and which one was taken with an iPhone. And I said, bro, that's a Note 4. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Mm. It's so funny you say that. You notice when I do my videos, I do three generations behind. So if you notice, I did Note uh, uh, Galaxy S8, Galaxy S9, Galaxy S10. And a lot of people are like, wow, that's almost the same. Well, yeah, you know, you got incremental upgrades. It, it ain't no drastic up, uh, update. And, uh, you know, so every, like when they did uh, the LG G8 come out. I'm going to do the LG G6, the LG G7, the LG G8, because I got all the phones, right? So I want people to see the difference in different, you know, camera. And it's not no big difference, man. No. It, 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 a lot no. of people don't understand. I don't I'm, think the uh, consumer even cares about the, what's inside the phone. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, the consumer not walking into the store saying, hey, does it have two gigs of <laughs> <laughs> they going in there hoping that the customer service rep that's helping them is going to tell them buy an iPhone, buy a Samsung. Unfortunately, that's all they know at cell phone stores: Samsung or Apple. They got the big displays up front. Everybody else take a back seat. But you know what I'm saying? They're cheating the customers. Uh, and I, you know, I, I know you'll probably touch on this. This is old news, but the, the, I think the reason that Huawei and Xiaomi and all these companies get shut out of the U.S. is because. The powers that be are keeping them out because if those phones come over here and get on carriers, it's a wrap for everybody else. It's a risk. Yeah. It is a wrap of Xiaomi. Remember now, Xiaomi is like the Apple overseas, and Huawei is like the Samsung overseas. If they come on the carriers, it's a wrap. The phones cost three to five hundred dollars less, and they're better. Straight mm. up, yeah, they're better. But well, so many phones are better than the iPhones and the Galaxy Notes and all those, but. Some people will never, ever experience them. They just won't get it. Well, the, the, the thing about it is because in the U.S., I think we we, we, we don't know about what's, what brought our rises. Shout out to OnePlus, right? Oh, I mean, man. OnePlus has oh, done man. something that no That's nobody done. done, right? They bought in a the top of the line phone at a $550 price point. Which no. is phenomenal. So it cut the cost. But here's the problem: people that love Samsung were like, "But well, I would never buy one plus because it's trash, it's garbage." And I said to myself, "Okay, why? Why is it garbage? It's because it's five hundred fifty dollars." A lot of people <laughs> always say, "Well, if you won't be the big dog, the elites, you got to spend two thousand dollars on the phone." And that's the most stupidest comment I ever hear. No. I hear it all the time. I was dumb. I tell people all the time. I say, "Listen." I roll with 636 processor sometimes. I roll with 600 truck processor, 625 processor, and it works like a champ. No, nah, man, See, you my balling. You balling when you spend a thousand dollars on the phone. You balling. Brush <laughs> 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 your shoulders off. Uh, you no, know nah, that dirt my, off your shoulder. You a champ. You balling. My only problem, my only problem with OnePlus right now is I think they've fallen victim to their success, meaning that. They're not too far behind Samsung and everyone. I think the whole flag, flagship killer uh, 
you know, approach has worn off. And the reason, oh, the re oh, hold on, wait, hold on, time out, hold on, time out. I, 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 I do, listen, I agree with you saying, but let's, let's think about it for a second. Five hundred fifty dollars. You get eight gigs around eight forty five. Well, I, when it come out, when it came out, eight forty five, eight gigs around. You getting updates like no other. You getting Pi. You getting Q. You getting whatever. One plus go give you everything underneath the sun when it comes down to software updates. They, listen, the cameras are not, don't sleep on the cameras. I made videos about the cameras, and the cameras are on par with Galaxy phones. So, with all that said and done. <gasps> oh, my oh God. God. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yes, hey, yes. first of all, hey. before, before you say anything spectacular, Gadget, I've been trying to get you on my show for about 20 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and she's been giving me the middle finger ever since. That is not true. That is not true. Just been busy, guys. It's been busy. Uh, spectacular gadgets. If anybody that been following the YouTube channel, we've been talking about spectacular gadgets. She make an awesome YouTube channel. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. God. Yes. Look, yes. She got green screening. She's doing it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> look, when I see a. When I see her videos, right, and I've seen the only green screen effect, I'm like, I got to do something different. I got to go black screen or something. I don't know. Black screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into green screens anymore. I do skins. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, when I watch this video. <laughs> so I want to welcome welcome you to the welcome to uh, the live stream. I really do appreciate you coming. Um, Thank you for having me. Uh, we are in the middle of a great debate. We're hmm. talking about Samsung and all kinds of other stuff. So I want to get your input on this. Uh, uh, we got the, uh, the Galaxy Forward and all this stuff like that. We were just talking in general about all kinds of things. So for everybody that don't know who you are, go ahead and explain to people who you are. I'm just your average person that likes tech. I mean, I like to share my new gadgets. I'm not in here to influence anyone. I just want everyone to have fun with me um, and just have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I can tell you that uh, your mic got a little noise behind it. I know you don't do this on your regular YouTube channel. See, you give a second grade. See, you know what I'm saying? You, give a second grade, but you got a little noise on, on your mic a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we really do appreciate uh, that you're here. And, um, no, you got all kinds of noise. Jay, Jay. Yeah. Look, you see what she got in the background there? You see all that uh, the noise cancellation? Aerozoom hit me up, and I got a video coming out tomorrow about Aerozoom, man. They hit I got me. mine over here. Mine is yeah. old. On the, yeah, mine is old. I got that. I see. I, I, I see. We all got y'all up two years ago. They just hit me up like like three days ago. So it sent me all this stuff, and I just did mine. So <laughs> Yeah, I put it. I, I saved some, but I only did like part of the four. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Eric, but, you see she got that May 20 X oh, right? Oh, oh she got oh, it. Oh, 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 yeah. I regret it. I regret it. I regret it every day. I do. <laughs> oh. Jay, Jay Soul is May 20. But, but y'all didn't know the breaking news of the day. Jay Soul is May 20 X. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad day. That was a bad day. Yeah, it's yeah. not fake news. This <laughs> ain't fake news now. This ain't no fake news. <laughs> When I, when I look, that, when I, hard, boy. When I got on Swapper and saw that Jay Will, I had to hit him up myself. You was cool, though, we talked about it. You was cool, but you see the people in my comments though? Man, <laughs> they was kill they was killing me, son. They was they was like, you a dumb so and so and you <laughs> made me buy this. I'm like, wow, okay, so I'm supposed to stay loyal to this one device. Like Tana said earlier, I can't be loyal to just one brand. I got to spread this seed out, you know what I'm saying, and, and go ahead and try to give love to everybody, man. I, I, right, you know, right. I had to move around. For, I, I circled back around, though. You know me, I circled back around, but I just wanted to buy, like, three phones. Remember I told you I got the Sony, I bought the Motorola, and then I bought the Samsung, and I was like, something got to go. And I sold that one device, and pretty much, I got, like, 700 something more, I forgot what it was, but put that money on these, man, but... I already got rid of the galaxy, so it's time to go back. I, I gotta, I gotta, I can't do it. It's only like six hundred. It's only like six ninety nine or something right now. Six fifty. I saw on Swapple last week. Yeah. I got to move yeah. back. 
And yeah, so 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 Galaxy Falls are dropping really fast. You know, like you gotta sell it, but sell it not. <laughs> hey, how about this? Everybody told me I was crazy when I said that the E was not going to be the top selling Galaxy phone. It's a good phone, and though. It, but it wasn't. It wasn't a top seller. And the plus, it, it, it may not be a top seller, but it's a smart choice for me of all those. It's a good phone. Hmm. Right, I agree, but I was trying to let everybody know when everybody, because everybody was looking at the Apple and they was looking at the R, and the R was the top selling phone. And um, I knew that was going to be the top selling phone for Apple because it's the cheapest thing you can get on an Apple, you know. But <laughs> the, the Samsung users, like I was telling everybody, Samsung users are used to big screens. That's mm. what they like. Samsung has, they have trained or however, gotten their users accustomed to big screens. Yeah, I remember, Apple users were used to small screens up until the 6. So it wasn't no big deal for them going down to a 6-inch screen. It's still bigger than anything that they ever had for what? <laughs> Eight years. Yeah. So is that who the Note 10 E is going to be for? I think the Note 10 E is going to be for I want to know the size of it. 6.3. Uh, 6.3. 6.3? That's nice. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's big to me. That's big that's nice. to me. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's still big. She said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's full of That sounds like a plus for me. She <laughs> <laughs> got a 6.5 inch phone, though. It's too big for me. It's like being too big. Like, look at I'm like trying to hold on to it. Yeah, but see, you you gotta you gotta understand, uh, uh, Ashley. You got an iPhone. It's already bigger than anything that anybody else makes anyway. Yeah. What I I feel like I well, should got the regular say what? model. What phone? What phone you got, Ashley? I got the Max. You just got the Max. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, that, that phone is big, but it's it, that's a pretty big phone. That's, that's, that's a big phone. It's heavy in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carry, like I carried it in the pocket, so it was pretty heavy in my pocket. I had, yeah. I had to fix that. But but did, did you hear the breaking news today that Google you ain't got to have a Google Pixel anymore? That Google Duplex is coming. To oh every yeah. Phone. So yeah. shout out to everybody that been waiting for a while. Uh, that now it, that the exclusive feature on your Google Pixel is coming to a sound. Ain't nobody you. gonna use. I, don't it. nobody even use it. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I think I was talking to Night Tech. I was, you know, I'm gonna keep on. I was like, well, what is it? He was like, man, it's on your phone right now. I said, well, that lets you know how important it is to me. I don't even use it right now, son. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even know what it was. Spectacular gadget. Oh, she just went off on me. All right, so. <laughs> she she's got to be probably fixing the audio. Yeah. Um. At the end of the day, I think that Samsung is doing a the, the best marketing strategy that they ever done. Think about it, the Galaxy S10. They bought three devices. The five G model coming out this month. The Fold coming out this month. Which uh, one? Which one come oh, out this month? The Galaxy. Uh. The the five G come out this month. Oh, the Galaxy Note. Oh, that's right. That's what y'all was talking about when I first came on. How much is it going to be? Uh, the, the, the pricing is uh, unavailable at this time. That's like when you go to a restaurant and you don't see no numbers by the menu. By the yeah. Price is price. Go ahead and order. It's, it's, it's the market. It's market value right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, you, you know what they say. If you got to ask the price, you can't afford it. Man, that's something, man. I'm asking the price, son. I'm asking the price. Now, I know, no, that's right. This I, I don't right. want to know how much this... I don't care how much money I got in the bank, son. I'm like, I want to know what the, what it costs. Son. Right, right, right. 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 I, I don't... The, the phone go come with four cameras on... This phone come with six cameras. Mm. Four in the back and two in the front. <laughs> Six point seven inch phone. That's Both crazy. Cameras on the back. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, Galaxy, yeah. Galaxy Fold is uh listen. All right, so look, check this out. This is breaking news. This is for real. Breaking news. The Galaxy Fold pre-orders, if y'all listen carefully, the Galaxy Fold pre-orders is on the twelfth. 
Yep. It's on release on the 26th. So I, I can't tell you my source, but I've, <laughs> I've heard from a very reliable source, and this is not fake news, that the Galaxy Fold pre-order is on the, uh, this month on the 12th. Get so your wallets ready. Oh, mm -hmm. I got it right here. I got it. 1980 bucks. Yeah. That's the starting price. Yes. People gonna be Friday. people gonna be financed putting down a thousand dollars, putting down fifteen hundred on a phone, man, paying hundred dollars a month. That's crazy. Man. That's yeah. a phone I won't have, bro. If you Dang. see it on my I'm telling you, are I didn't you pay for it. The, are you getting the Xiaomi foldable though? Hey, that thing costs twenty seven hundred. Hey, no. Nah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I thought that was Huawei. Oh, the oh, the oh, you're right. You're right. The Xiaomi joint is the trifold joint. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. If it's two grand, I ain't getting it. No, okay. it's, it's supposed to be like a thousand. It's a thousand. Oh, that, that'll work then. That'll work. Yeah, yeah but did you see how wide that? Did you see how wide that Joker was folded? I'd rather have a wide thousand dollar phone than a two thousand dollar long phone with a four point two inch display on the front. <laughs> that Samsung phone. <laughs> that Samsung phone. Apple, you know, they pulling an Apple on us, son. That's what they're doing. Like, who wants a four point five inch display for regular use, son? Come on now, come on. I'm in one hundred, two thousand dollars before tax, and I gotta open it up to get the real enjoyment of the phone, son. They can fly, mm -hmm. flap that thing and fly it on somewhere else. Man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's my thing. I, ain't, I ain't telling people not to buy it like it's a bad idea. That's just my budget is like a thousand dollars for a phone. Once I start doing over that, it's got to be something spectacular. Or oh, I'm putting that in one of my cars, son. I can't. I can't do that, man. Right. Like, no a, like a spectacular gadget. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, but 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 the thing about it is like. I know that LeBaron is buying the fold. Wow, balling! Right? Yeah, no, he, no, but he just whipped see, it out and put it on the table. I got no, it. No, <laughs> no, no, it's it's a method to my ma out. madness, Jay. It's a method to my madness. That's a it's business. probably gonna be nice. That's a strategic business move. I hit, you know what? As long as you, because I don't never go in nobody's pockets. You know what I'm saying? I stay out of people's pockets. I don't really care what the next man got in his pockets. But if you get it. I want to see it, man. Let me look at it. I'm a tech reviewer, but I ain't spending no two grand on no phones, son. That's a MacBook Pro, fully loaded. You know what I'm <laughs> yep. but, and that phone is not going to replace no computer like that. Mm -hmm. However, when you get it, I need to see that, bro. I need you to post some photos on social media because I'm going to live vicariously through you at that point. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm living through you at that point. I can't do it. No, I, see, I, they, they ain't telling you the full thing. See, I'm only getting it to send it out. It's, a, it's going to be a select set of uh, YouTubers that I send it out to uh -huh. so that they can have it, do their review on it, and ship it to the next guy. Nice. I'm, I'm you know, I'm a, I am sell popcorn. I don't do YouTube reviews. I like you know? popcorn, too. So that's the thing. I send it to you. And I say, hey, Jay, here's the phone. You know what? This is sponsored by uh, Popcorn World. Hold it down for a week. Do your reviews or whatever. See how that works? Yeah. So that that that's a business move. So everybody can start buying popcorn now. You know what I'm saying? Put a free there bag of popcorn go. in there. Mm -hmm. and you own your own popcorn company or something? Oh, it's banging. I oh, know. Yeah. Oh, that's the one you posted online. That's him? Yeah, that's him. Oh, okay. Marketing 101. I see you, son. I see. That's <laughs> the one you posted on. I, that's, I saw you post that online. I was like, yo, this is fantastic. Yeah. The plug that's is real. That's what the method is. So, you know, I, mean, I figure that's a smart, that's a business move. Sell that popcorn, shoot. Sure. I like popcorn. Right now, I'm old, so I put it in the pot downstairs, put some oil in it, and I'm going to get that. <laughs> 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 I don't know where I'm going to put it. Oh, I man. get that popcorn, put it on the pot on the stove, fire it up, put the oil in there, put that lid on it. That's the best kind. That's the that's best kind. kind. I put some of that little $2 sprinkle cheese on it from the grocery store. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it oh, 100 man. with you. I ain't got no popcorn right now. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah, look, I look, look. I just, I, I just got, I just got UPS on lockdown this week, Kimmy. So I'm about to start shipping y'all, shipping everybody they popcorn. I got man. that little situation fixed. So 
Yeah, I I saw her post up on online. I was like, why is she posting popcorn? <laughs> that is, like, that was fun. I was like, wow, okay. And okay. she trying to influence y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <I> influence <laughs> crab leg popcorn. That's all I'm gonna say. Crab leg popcorn. Crab leg. Yeah, popcorn. yeah. I saw that. that. Hey, Tyler, I ain't sending you no popcorn, bro. You got to come out to the shop. Hey, gee, I was about to tell you. Yeah, I was about to tell you. I was going to roll, oh, roll out there to the lawn this weekend to check you out, Brody. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be there. Yes, I'll sir. be there. Cool. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, look, LeBaron, you're an influencer. Influence people to buy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that mm -mm. So, So, fellas. At the end of the day, in 2019, this has been an interesting year. Believe it or not, it's been interesting because now you got foldable phones. We 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 wanted innovation. We got Xiaomi phones. We got uh, all kinds of different devices. Hey, this is a good year, right? You got Motorola with the teardrop notch on the G7. You got the G7 power. You got all these phones that's doing very well. So you have three tiers. You got the elites, so-called elites. Uh, then you have good phones, which is in the $1,000 price point. Then you have those phones like, look, I'm excited for the OnePlus 7. Me right? too. You, they quiet right now. OnePlus quiet. That means they're up to something good. I, I, I'm excited at the OnePlus 7, but I'll be waiting on the OnePlus 7T. I ain't buying the OnePlus 7. <laughs> I'll wait for the OnePlus 7T, right? But I think, you know, OnePlus go come out with guns blazing. Uh, uh, they go come out like they, they like to win the spec wall. See, OnePlus love the spec wall. So you see 10 to 12 gigs around standard out of the OnePlus 7. I mean, I can see it coming, 855, right? They're going to go amulet like they always did. They're going to improve the cameras. I think they go focus on the cameras on this go around, right? I hope so. so. The cameras going to be king supreme. And what what else should they change? Like, I mean, I don't think they're going to do wireless charging. You know why? Because dash charging is the truth. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. think they're going to do dash charging. I'll be mean, wireless charging on the one plus seven. You know what I got to say about that, mm -hmm. though? I got a problem with that because to me, I think that's a bit of plan, planned obsolescence because of the fact that people don't realize that. And I think this is the reason why Apple, I think this is maybe the true reason why Apple won't put the fast charger in the box. Because when you fast charge your phone, you're, you're cutting your battery life in half. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think agree. So. Look, it, it I'm wears the battery it. down over time. It that, does. That you, it, that's like the, the the time frame that you're if you do your research. Not saying that you didn't, but I did the research on this, and that battery chop down doesn't come until like the third year, and it doesn't mean it go fifty percent. It's more like ten to twenty percent. Yeah. But by that time, we just traded them joints off. B. We just sold that thing, got the Mate Twenty XL or something. You know what I'm saying? We didn't got something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Well, but yeah. but that's that's what my point is. Like right now, right now I got the Note Eight, right, and I got the uh, I started, you know, I fast charger. Mm -hmm. Um, right now, <laughs> man, my battery is toast. I ain't really? gonna lie, my battery is toast. Wow, I, I had my Note Note Eight for the for this launch. And I sold it a little bit after the Note Nine came out, and my battery. I fast. That's all I did was fast charge, and I, I had no problem with it. Look, my, when I say my battery is toast, it's, now look, I use my phone as a computer, so I use my okay. phone a whole that makes lot. Makes sense. Uh huh. Yeah. Got you. And but it's toast. I mean, so literally, it's not so much that it's the fast charger; it's the way you're using your phone. Yeah, you. Well, yeah, yeah. you're already almost three years in, right? So. It's about time that the phone will start depleting. Three yes. years. Yeah, yeah, three years. Yes. I can't lie. I've, I've never fast charged any of my devices because they got big batteries. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> right again. Wow. Wow. Kimmy, how many, how many devices are you using? Two. Two? So it's like you're bouncing between two. Like if somebody has one yeah. device and they're using it all the time. 
like I can use it for three days. The average person can at least get two days out of it without yeah. charging it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, my my thing is this: if, if you look at the way battery life is right now, look, hits thing. A lot of people get upset about One Plus, but fast charging. I say this all the time: you can shower, s and shave, and you good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think the dash charging is good, but just like with any phone, you only go get so many charges out the phone, and yeah. the, the battery the battery go deplete. Yeah. So you're not listen. Here, here's the thing: don't you know that companies do not want you with that phone more than two years? Oh yeah. They don't want you with that yeah, phone. Exactly. They don't want you with that phone two years, man. So. <laughs> You think you're gonna keep it? <laughs> We're gonna start years? sending you some of them updates. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah! Uh, I'll tell you, you done. You. <laughs> we gonna hook you up. We gonna give you an update. We gonna hook you up. You won't. <laughs> All right. We gonna give you power of the Galaxy S six. <laughs> you won't. Hey. It to you. <laughs> Look, speaking. Speaking. Speaking of when I when I joined the live stream, right? When I first signed on to the live stream, my battery was at ninety six percent. I am at 40, 47%. Well, you yeah, I would oh, have, man. but you live streaming. That, yeah, listen, yeah. That's the whole thing. When you live streaming, the battery and the processor is yes. working overtime. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. You at full peak right now mm -hmm. because it, the battery is working full. I mean, the processor is tearing the battery up right now uh, because I've done this on live stream. It don't matter what phone you have. If you live streaming, on battery, if you had a hundred percent, you ain't gonna get no more than two hours, three hours of live streaming. That's it. You done. Right, right. Depending on how big your battery is. Yeah. Because what did you yeah. say you were at now? I'm at 40, 46 percent. Right, that's, that's the percentage what we're talking. That's really big. That's three year old battery. Two year old. Right. That's still a beat. So you gotta look at it like this. It all depends on your usage. You got stuff running in the background. So you got, you know, you got a lot of things happening in the background that destroys batteries. I mean, your, your brightness is halfway uh, all the way up, you know, that destroys battery. It, it, it's a lot that kills. That's why the listen, man, a lot of people keep telling me to do battery tests. That battery test I did, that's going to be the last one for a long time. <laughs> 15 hours. 15 hours. Bro. Man, listen, man. That Those battery tests kills me, man. I, I can't do those battery tests no more like I used nah, to. No, man, you mm. balling like that, E. You balling. I can't. Man. I can't oh, I, listen, man. I, I, <laughs> man, Jay, I'm sitting up there doing a the battery test, and I'm sitting up there, all right, cool. I start the battery test about, about 8 p.m. Here we go, 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm still doing this battery test. And I'm up there watching these phones, and they don't want to die because now you got <laughs> and, and, and I thought this time I was going to do, like, I'm going to put the phones at full brightness because when I do my battery test, I always put them at halfway brightness. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do full brightness because I'm thinking five hours, they go going to conk out. Yeah, 15 hours later, I'm still – Sit up here like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I can't do them oh, no yeah. more, man. I can't yeah. do get screen burning. Uh I, I can't do it. I, I can't do I can't do better testimony. People like easy, do this back. I'm like, man, y'all crazy as hell. I can't do that. Stuff, <laughs> 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 and then people the thumbs down me on that video. I'm like, you some of us, man. I can't believe you. You know, people hate ball, people hate. Oh my God! People don't under, don't appreciate the the longevity. Now, I got to take a fifteen hour video and condense it down to six hour. I mean six minutes. <laughs> it's hard, man. Right, I, right. You know, <laughs> no, it's, man. Hey, look. Um, uh, you know it's not a complete night until we talk about my boy. Who? Tim Cook. Okay. You mean Tim but, Lemon? But, Tim, 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 Tim Apple. Tim Apple. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 everybody is on a band. I think uh, technically T posted a. Uh, he posted on Twitter today. He's like, it's amazing how everybody's jumping off the bandwagon now. That uh, Apple. Uh, what? Now everybody's saying Apple's messing up, messing up. You know how long we've been saying Apple was messing up. 
Well, now everybody's saying Apple's messing up. Well, and here's the thing. It, 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 Tim Apple can't <laughs> it was so amazing that he hurry up and did this 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 event. This event came out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he got Oprah Winfrey and all these celebrities and stuff like that. And they're talking about services with no pricing. It, 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 all of them coming out in the fall. And so it was like all for nothing. <laughs> yeah. All for nothing with this event. Like, so I look at this event was it is a it it, it it was a thing that they had to like like to sit back and say, we got to do something together now. Because Samsung is is killing the market right now with the Galaxy S10 Plus, right? And then yeah. Samsung's strategy in marketing with the Galaxy S10 5G, knowing that Apple cannot release a 5G phone this year because Qualcomm took the chip from them. So you got all <laughs> kinds of stuff going on with, with Apple. And then, the listen, I'm going to tell you something. You think Apple in trouble? If they release that phone with that big old notch in the back, with that, with yeah. that phone, with that, with that the square box that's sticking out the back, <laughs> the cross-eyed oh, cross camera. camera. <laughs> oh now, man, look! Not only that, if they if they re release that Mac Pro this year, and that Mac Pro ain't something that's gonna knock people out their shoes, oh, I guarantee you, you're gonna see their stocks drop I again said this that, year. This, this in 2019 is the most critical year for Apple. WWDC got to knock it out the park. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and look, do you think they're gonna bring it though? I don't think they're gonna. No, bring it. They're I, don't, gonna I don't think they're gonna do anything either. I don't think they're gonna do that because the, the things are already I think in subtly, I think subtly. Oh, yeah, oh Lord, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let, her yeah. Let, Let her talk. talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Hey. All right. Yeah. I mean, I think they, I think they need to bring something, but I think they need to keep their same concept because they are not like Samsung. So it's like. If we if Apple users wanted to be like Samsung, we would get a Samsung device. We don't have a Samsung device. But because Ashley, we like their iOS. What's up? Right. But this is the thing. This is the problem. This is the problem. I, I'm com This is coming from from a good place that I have with Apple. I actually love Apple <laughs> as a company. Okay. The problem is this: the Steve Jobs grace period is over. Now. Everything that Apple does from this point on is based on the steering of Tim Cook, okay? The remnants mm -hmm. of anything that Steve Jobs had in place is gone. They've outlived it. This is the year that, okay, you're on your own, all right? And the problem or what makes me worry is, you know that little air power debacle? Mm -hmm. I think that's what you have left. That's who you have left working on your products. So the reason that Apple never did what Samsung did was because Apple used to pave the way and everybody else followed. But now, that's, like, that's the mindset of being in that time. You don't know what's going to happen in the direction now. But you know what? They, they do have you talking. They do have you talking. So that's what's good. They got me worrying. They ain't got me talking. <laughs> they, 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 have, they have you talking. They have you talking. And so it's, it's kind of like, to me, the lines are blurred. Because it's either like people are jumping on the bandwagon and saying negative things <clears throat> about Apple, what's going on right now, or they like Apple. So it's just, well, for it, me, it's, it's hard to see. Is it because people want views or anything about what's going on? It's just... I don't know. Uh, okay. Do you think uh, that as a like if you weren't our friends and we weren't always telling you about what was going on with Apple, would you have even noticed? I wouldn't have because most of the people that I know that have iPhones, they're stuck in their mode. And that's just what it is. I don't I don't hear hype or anything until I talk to you guys. <laughs> because everybody who's into that's the good tech community. Yep. Right, right, right. That's a good like, point. Everybody, to me, yeah. everybody who's into the tech community who's using these different devices are in, on to the new and next brand new thing. Right. Whereas most people who are stuck in their molds, they're content. They're, they're upgrading the devices because their battery burned out or something like that. Not because they want the newest specs. What do you think it would take to make you want to leave Apple and try something new? Make it easy for me. 
Grab a pixel. Grab like, a like I, I feel like yeah, I feel man. like I like Apple and I respect them because it's easy to use. Like I don't I don't find enjoyment in looking at a device and trying to figure it out. I want to know something that's going to give me subtle changes that's going to be easy for me to use that already broadens what I already know. I got to jump in. I got to jump in. But you, you you sound like the perfect victim of <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, okay, let's be honest. You are, if you don't know by now, everybody in my family uses an iPhone, which is the only reason I carry an iPhone. But I'm definitely pro Android. However, that's, I don't mean that in a bad way. Don't, don't, I don't, don't be disrespected by that. I'm just saying you sound like the perfect victim for the perfect marketing plan. Because mm -hmm. the, the reality to, to think that Apple is easier to use than Android, that's something that Apple did and they mastered it. They got the whole world right. in right. that iPhones are easier to use than Apple, than I, I than Androids, and it's totally. If you were to pick up a OnePlus Six or a OnePlus Seven or whatever a OnePlus, you would be totally happy with that. You would also get a better experience as far as snappiness of your phone. Uh, but like I said earlier, I personally like the experience I get on social media with iPhones because this mm -hmm. is a social media age. So Apple is targeting that type of person. So remember when everybody right. say, oh, young people use iPhones. That's a lie. Young, Not just young people use iPhones. Everybody uses an iPhone. You know, and corporations have switched from BlackBerry to iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, for you know what, I've, I've, I've said in the past that I have got too stuck in my ways with Apple. Like, I'm not willing to change because of, I'm comfortable. And I don't... That. And I don't feel the need to go out and buy different phones to try to navigate different things. I'm comfortable on my device. That's what I do. If it was if it was Samsung back in the day that caught my eye, it would have been Samsung. So Correct. it's not that's that it's like Apple. That. I respect that. I yeah. that sounds like complete honesty. If I would have went with this brand, uh, I would have went because you know what people talk about Apple people, but reality, Samsung people are the same. It's, it's, right, it's, right, right, right. Now you've got all these different people who like OnePlus. You got these people, people like mm -hmm. Apple. It's just that the the mentality of people appear to well, people seem to think that people who have Apple products have money. That's the silliest thing ever, and yep. they think that people who don't have an iPhone or something like that don't have any money, which is the craziest thing in the world because the phones are all expensive. Yeah, but. You you need to you need to get a megaphone and stand outside of the Apple store and say that because if you would have chose Samsung first, you'd be rocking with Samsung. If you would have chose Absolutely. you chose Apple and so you rocking with Apple. You know that's that's a realistic non techy customer statement that sounds for real for real, which you rarely hear. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go into an Apple store, some of those people in there they don't have an iPhone 10s Max. They have like an iPhone SE with a cracked screen. They're like, I'm not, my battery is still <laughs> yeah. works. Yeah. So right, I came right, in here for right. my iPad. I didn't come in here for this phone. So I see a lot of people, I saw somebody using an iPhone 4s that looked brand new. They were like, Damn. Work, so I'm you know what? My, my stepdad has the five. Like he has see? the five and he's content yeah. with it. I've I mean, seen okay. more old yeah. iPhones than I've seen new ones. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. See what the place that I was coming from, Ashley, wasn't. So I'm not trying to. I'm taking Apple from the iPhone. I'm taking Apple as a company. So my knock against Apple right now is as a company, the culture behind Apple is not what it was. Meaning that, okay, when you buy a luxury item and it's labeled a luxury item, there are certain expectations with that luxury item, meaning that I'm going to have top-notch customer service, I'm going to have top-notch mm -hmm. hardware, and I'm not going to deal with some of the petty problems that you have with common care uh, uh, manufacturers. Apple used to be that, but then they came out with the, what year Mac is that, they had the butterfly uh, keyboard? That's the uh, 16th. Right, the 2016s. And prior to that, you had Bing Gate. Prior to that, uh, right after that, you had Touch Disease. All of this stuff is things that you did not attach with Apple. You attached with everyone else, but you didn't associate that with Apple. 
Now it's that's like, that sounds more... like a personal expectation. Yeah, it sounds I think person... Apple's customer support is boss. I, yeah, I well, still think they're beating out everybody. I can't right. walk to a Samsung store. Well, no, the customer support, but what I'm saying is I'm talking about the little petty Annie stuff like you know, when you had a Windows computer, you expected things to break. You expected <laughs> things to go out. Man, man, oh man. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. It was like, no, no, you know, it's true. It's true. You're right. You're right. You, know, you, for, you know, you you paid four hundred bucks for the laptop and you, you you used it until it burned out and you got another one. It wasn't <laughs> like that with Macs. When you bought a MacBook Pro, look, the thing was built like a tank. You know, it was, it was what, that's what it was. You know, it was a premium device and you got, now, yeah, the customer service is still there. Okay. But at the same time, the quality is not what it has had been. Yeah. And, well, and, but the dollar hasn't changed. The right. dollar keeps going up. So mm. I got, I got to get spectacular gadget and she came back to the stream. Uh -huh. What's your input on all this talk we're talking about? Well, I don't know. I missed half of it trying to get the mic right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Are y'all still getting feedback? No, no, you no, good. No, 100%. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of pissed off now. <laughs> yeah, no, no need to be pissed off. You're good. Because so, so we were know. talking about how of different devices, like, um, you know, if you wasn't a techie and you just had a phone, like, would you just only stay with that company all the time, or you've <laughs> always just changed your phones around? Because I know you, you have a lot of different tech. Honestly, I've always been like that. I just like the newest stuff. So it could be Apple this day. And then a Windows phone. Well, they don't make Windows phones like that anymore. But you know, Android this day, and just whatever, whatever direction I'm going. That you know, I'm not loyal to iOS or Android. But I do love Huawei. There we go. <laughs> don't you like got, it until you try it. No, you got to try don't it. Don't like it until you try it. So I'm gonna have, have to get it. I'm gonna have to get a Huawei. Just, <laughs> just, just. You just, love just it. because. I, I can tell you one thing. If you get that Mate 20X, you're gonna forget all about that. That Samsung folds. That, you're gonna be like, I can't believe I'm gonna waste two thousand dollars on this. You're gonna be like, this only costs seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's getting his money back? Try taking the gadget. So, what you think about the uh, Mate 10X? Is, is it win all, be all, or what? Mate, 20X? 20X. 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 X. X. Get it, get the it fold, right now. The fold one? 8X. X. Oh, no, the, the fold one. The, the oh, mate. What you got? The one, oh, you got. The one I have? Yeah. Um, Love at first sight. I mean, I was thinking about selling a phone, but I just couldn't do it. This phone, I mean, it's a 7.2 inch display. It's, I mean, <sighs> I, I, it's love at first sight. Seriously, this phone does everything. The battery is sick. You don't have to charge this thing for a hot minute. You're not looking to go charge it or anything like that. Everyone sitting at lunch, everyone can watch my phone. We can watch videos. We can watch Jay Wills. We can watch Easy. We can watch everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but 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 China is watching you though. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> and all these people are not the watching Samsung us. And spying and on Apple us. was all in everybody business. They talking Let about more locally on the device, man. Still, just on the next server. Put on the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, yep. so you. Do your screen cracked. Uh, that's a um, screen protector. That's that. Hey, that's that. What she this? Yeah. yeah. yeah you gotta check my video out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 check check a video. I gotta check the video out. <laughs> yeah, I cracked up when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a scheme. That's a scheme. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she got me for the first two minutes of the video. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, what is I'm like, what the hell is <laughs> I know everyone was like, Well, how did you stay so serious when you were doing it? I was thinking of this like 
for two months. Two months ago, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this for uh, April Fool's. Okay. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so uh, look, we got a couple of super chats in. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, uh, Team Kings on a Budget uh, for the super chat. They're big house production. Awesome panel tonight. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, I only got to hang out for a few minutes, but I got to bounce. Thank you very much, Tech King on a Budget, for the super chat. I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, big dog said one plus, one plus was accused of the same thing. Shoot, what? What was the company that got got caught though? What was it? Oh, um, Huawei. Huawei got caught a few years ago. Huawei a gangster. I'm gonna tell you why yeah. Huawei. A gangster. No, they the one put, that cut the check. What was the company that cut the oh, check? Oh, ZTE. ZTE. ZTE yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. ZTE cut the check. But well, let's think about it. Huawei a gangster, right? They left there and, and get caught. With DSLR cameras, knowing their cameras are good, <laughs> with DSLR cameras, and then when the CFO get caught, you arrested, she had all Apple product. That could be playing, like you know. Like, I'm a gangster. I got iPads, everything. Wait, you know why? Wait, wait. Do you have a wow? She had the RS right. as well. But here's the thing: she probably been testing those phones and make their phones better. See that a lot of people be getting that confused. How could you make your stuff better without testing the competition? You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna get the iPad. You know why? Because I got the mate uh pad, I'm gonna make it better. But I got to test the phone or their tablet to make my shit better. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it. I like well, that I look at it. And the thing is, is any tech person, any tech person is gonna have multiple devices. That's mm -hmm. how you stay. Yep. I mean, that's how you keep yep. your ear to the ground. Right. Thanks. But here's Thanks. the thing. How could I make my product better if I don't have the competition product to test? Exactly. That's the whole yeah. thing. I, right. I'm not tripping that they had, you know, Apple product. I ain't tripping about that because in order to make your phone better, you got to buy the Galaxy S10. You got to get all the other phones. You got to see how it is. You can't yeah. make your product better unless you get the product to test it. So you might have got caught with it, but I ain't tripping about that because I, I said, okay, you know, you got to so make What's wrong with Apple? Yep. They don't buy Android products. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, Apple's well, on a different level, though. That's when you get to a certain level of arrogance. I, I keep telling everybody, look, this is, here I go again. This is my thing. What was the last company, okay, that the glue to that company was their messaging app? What was the name of that company? Blackberry. Blackberry. Okay. Yeah. Don't think that history cannot repeat itself. Blackberry King. Very true. You know, if, I, if I wasn't a techie, it would be all Blackberry. I, mm. I'm a Blackberry fan since day one. And if I if I would have stuck to it with Blackberry OS, oh, I would not I would not have any of these other phones. I mean I just wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't even have gotten into tech or anything. Well, I've always been a techie, but I don't think I'd be doing videos because BlackBerry was just spam. Going all the way back to the sidekick. Remember the sidekick? Oh, the sidekick oh yeah. was the yeah. truth. And if yeah. you had a sidekick. I had one. Yeah, if you had a sidekick, you was you was a real boss right there. Even though the intent behind the sidekick was aimed toward deaf mute people, everybody yeah. else caught on and started buying them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. people who weren't deaf mute no, <laughs> started buying that. them. True. And it took off. They didn't think it was going to take off like that, but it did. Yeah, BlackBerry was my number one. I always oh. alternated between Apple and Samsung on the other side. Blackberry. If Blackberry, they're talking about BlackBerry OS device right now, I'm all in. I'm all and in. See, and see, BlackBerry, BlackBerry was one of those companies that didn't put their ear down to the ground because they could have they could have yeah, very can. well competed with Android at that time. They could have very well competed. But they <laughs> kept doing things the same way. And that's the problem that I'm having with Apple right now. When the market shifts, you have to be able to put your ear to the ground. And I'm not seeing that. And right now, <laughs> every single person that I talk to in the Apple world say the same thing. iMessage is the glue that's keeping me yep. there. Which is yeah, why Apple like won't license that. Yeah. Apple is not going to license that because they'll lose they'll lose people then. Because if you license iMessenger and let it be an app, and 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 if if iMessenger was ten dollars in the app in the apps in the Play Store, I'd buy it immediately. That would mean I ain't got to use it. FaceTime, give a combination of FaceTime and iMessenger for ten bucks in the Play Store. I'm all in. I can put this iPhone down. You don't have to use any of that. 
But see, yeah. Apple's smart. They're not going to do that. But I think Apple has a big enough following to where they could bring out the stupidest looking iPhone. People, they their following is is just there. Like it, like you said earlier with BlackBerry, I didn't care what BlackBerry brought out. I just bought it when it came out. If I needed another BlackBerry, I replaced it with a BlackBerry. But Apple, I think their following is big enough. And uh, but I do think they're obviously. You said they like y'all was talking about earlier. They cut in half. They're no longer a trillion dollar company, right? So. I think that's just the customers are waking up saying, hey, look, I'm out and with this iPhone. Right. I don't need to upgrade, really, because I got the update. Look how long it took for them to bring 12 to the iPhone 6. Mm-hmm. Like, when they brought the iPhone 12, uh, iOS 12, when they hit the iPhone 6 and the iPhone SE, everybody, it's like a freeze pattern came on, and people started buying the older iPhones because they were available to work real good with iOS 12. Yeah, um, well, see, but that's just my point. The Everyday consumer is getting smarter and smarter every year, okay? So my thing is this, is that everybody's saying, well, you know, I think uh, technically T just posted in the chat. He was like, you're talking about two different playing fields. When I say history repeats, it has a way of repeating itself. What I'm saying is this, is that, okay, iMessage is truly the only thing that's really keeping every everyone in the walled garden, okay? That's the one thing that anybody on Apple says that they can't do without. It's a lot of arrogance to think that Samsung, Google, and these other companies will not team up and pop up a messaging app that will duplicate what iMessage does. Let, 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 here we go. Oh, they try, they, dude, they've been trying for years. I it's not going to work. They, try, I, they all tried to do it their own way, though. It was, yeah, it but, was always a divide. Samsung wanted to do it this way, and everybody wanted to capitalize on the money of it, and that was a big holdback. Google wanted to do it one way. Samsung wanted to do it another way. The carriers were involved. The carriers made a major play in that because the carriers, mm-hmm. T-Mobile wanted to have their own RCS system. Uh, Samsung wanted to have their own because everybody was looking at the <laughs> money that they can make with the but system. But the issue, the issue is that Google is not stepping up because all of this is no. based on Android. And technically, <laughs> Android is supposed to be stock Android. It's not supposed to be Samsung. If Samsung wants to do that, they need to release Tizen, which they failed to do so because they're afraid to take that yeah. risk. So yeah. Google never releases the solid messaging app. And I don't, I mean, I've, I've spoken to people about iPhones, about what's keeping them there. Most of them don't say iMessenger or FaceTime. They really say it's easy to use, it's fluid, yeah. there's no crashes mm-hmm. like Android. That's the type of thing I hear people right. say. But, you know, right. everybody has their own. You get own, the update. Right. I mean, why Yeah, you, you get an update. Yep. And a- Apple pretty much stole all their ideas from BlackBerry because you can take a BlackBerry device and update one of their watches with it. And, if, like, they had that universal update software where you didn't, it didn't matter which device. If you've been using, if you know BlackBerry, they will release one package and it would go to all of the Blackberries. That's what Apple's right. doing. Even right. Apple, the way Apple is doing all the gestures, BlackBerry and all those WebOS. Remember, if, again, if WebOS were to come back strong, I'm all in. I used to rock with WebOS and BlackBerry, and those OSs far exceed Apple, in my opinion. That's right. WebOS definitely. Yeah, so that I got, I got that's where Apple got their ideas from. So I got pause for a second. We got a super chat for ten dollars, and <laughs> we, we 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 got we got to say this: innovation <laughs> keeps the tech community going. Put Ashley on a ten on a thirty day Google Pixel challenge, Ooh. because she did <laughs> bad, <laughs> bad. Now nope, Pillsbury nope. twenty seven said we want <laughs> Ashley to do a thirty day. 30-day challenge on the Google Pixel uh, XL. Ashley, nope. what you say about it? She said no. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I said no, but you know what? Catwoman is yeah. going to send me her S9, so she's going to give it to me to try it out. Now, I'm going to have my I'm gonna have my iPhone in the wing. And the watch. Too. Oh, no, 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 no. So you got, if you're going to do the S9 challenge, you got to do it without the iPhone. You got to take all your contacts and put it on the S9. Yeah. Everything on the 100%, 100%. S9. 100%. Yeah. Take yeah. Your, 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 your iPhone, turn it off, and put it on the side. 
I think, that's, yeah, I think that's fair. I'll do it. It's going to be hard because I yeah, don't even like to, speaking in my husband's with, phone. You got to test has... with a stock Android phone. That's what you need to test with. Like whoever said the Pixel, that's what you actually need to test with because that's what Android is supposed to be like, yeah. not yeah. Samsung UI. Yeah. Oh, my right, bad. Right. One UI. I mean, Samsung experience. I mean, all these different things. Yeah. <laughs> so who's going to do donate their Pixel then? Uh, hmm. well, I don't, I don't, 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 don't even waste your time. Don't waste your time. It's too late for me. All right. So beggars can't be choosers. She's getting the S9 Plus. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you, my, you know, my husband has the S8 Plus, and it is cringing to pick his phone up. So I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how yeah. it goes. But, but you know what? I just came up with a good idea for a cat woman and her getting this uh, note 10 on release day. Oh! Oh, boy. Wait, no pepper challenge. Why are we talking about that? We don't need to talk peppers. about that. <laughs> peppers. No, not those peppers. She needs to give up Sammy for a while. You know, Ooh. she can't make it out of Samsung. So mm. if, I get the, if I get the note 10 on release date, then I have to give up Samsung for a while? Yeah. How long? <laughs> yeah, how long? I know you ain't gonna make it thirty days. I ain't gonna fool myself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you gotta do a ghost pepper. That no, that was no, 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 how, who would know? Because when, when, when the lights go off and we're not <laughs> online, she's going to be messing with the Samsung. She has to say, no, no, we can't do that. Challenge. I will be honest. I'm not we a liar. We gotta, My we name ain't Jesse Smollett. No. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oops. Oh. 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 low, low, low. Oh, but um, <coughs> to kind of go back to the agreement that I have with um Ashley. So what I'm doing is I'm making a whole bunch of tutorials and putting oh, okay. it on my site so that when she gets the phone, she will have a tutorial on how to use oh, come it. Come on, man. She don't need that. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. She might need it help in her. Its most, <laughs> she might need it in its most basic form to be able to use it, like an Apple device, mm -hmm. not with a tutorial. Yeah, like, you know, like Jay when, Will said, it's not Android is not hard. It that's yeah, an illusion. No, no. It it yeah. really yeah. isn't hard. Yeah. My daughters, they use Android and they picked it up so. They're quickly. young. They're young. Yeah, you're not oh, nah, <laughs> and, you know, nah. you know what's going to happen, Ashley. You know what's going to happen. You're going to be on your phone. You're going to be watching a YouTube video, right? And then something's going to happen where you got to hit the home button. You're going to hit the home button, and the YouTube picture. video is going to pop to the top corner. Yeah, you're going to be able. <laughs> you're going to be like, what? I can do two things at one time. <laughs> but I don't need this to be determined. To be determined, I will let y'all know. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't. I don't need to be watching a YouTube video and texting at the same time. <laughs> I actually hate when I get texts or YouTube videos. <laughs> See? <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> like the emoji where the head explodes. That's what I, I just can't like believe, you know. <laughs> like I said, man, she's like the perfect victim to the perfect marketing plan that they got you, and you just don't want to see it any other way. But I think you, if you were to just uh, see, you're not in a position where you have to do it. But if you had to do, let's just say you walk outside tonight and drop your phone and crack it, and then all the insurance companies shut down for three weeks, and you can't get the phone, and then you got to use this other phone. It's like you're afraid to like it because you know deep down absolutely, inside absolutely. you're going to have I, a I, better experience. You know what, Jay? I am a routine person. That's my problem. That's I am so bad. routine that like change is difficult for me. You know oh, what? what? Ashley, Ashley is what I call the AT&T customer. <laughs> AT&T <No>. has made <laughs> billions of dollars. <laughs> no, no, look, look. AT&T has made billions of dollars on landlines for years. They're still making money on landlines. 
Because yeah. there's always that 70 year old lady that's like, wow. hey, <laughs> hey, that <laughs> cell phone, <laughs> that cell phone going to let you down, but I'm going to have that landline. We do have <laughs> a landline. We do have one. Ashley, I, oh, think, I think Ashley is just like she said she was. Oh, with my man. mom, she started off with Samsung, and so it was a pull to get her to Apple. And now mm -hmm. that she's had it for a while, she's cool with it. But she had always had Android. So it's whatever yeah. she started off with. Yeah, yep. that's true. Because you know what? I had yeah. the first iPhone, and then the guy I was seeing at the time, he had a BlackBerry, so I got a BlackBerry. So I missed the second and third iPhone. Then I jumped back on on the fourth one. And I've been with them ever since. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 you know what? I don't you anymore. Say boo. <laughs> boo. I'm content. I'm content. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just like you missed out. You know, the, the simple things that you not experiencing, you're going to have, some people call it an epiphany or a wake-up call, but one day it's going to hit you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I will let y'all know. Are you going to video it? Are you going to document yeah. it? What oh, are you going to do? You know what? I will document this for everybody. This is going to be something. That would be awesome. awesome. Dope, dope, dope. She, haven't made, she haven't made a video in like six weeks. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. There's just been some personal things going on that we haven't uploaded yet, but you know, we're gonna upload. Oh, it I, I hear the kids in the background. I do understand. <laughs> yeah, Johan is home now. Oh, Johan! <laughs> My man in the building. Yeah. I just heard the garage opener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Derek F. That's true. My parents are in their 70s and they won't give up the landline. Yeah, they won't give up their landline. I don't know why. I mean, now you can do everything. He said it doesn't even have long distance. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you could only look. make phone calls in your local area? Yeah, look, look. This that, is that's a known, all they need to do. This is known for AT&T. This is one of the reasons why I despise AT&T today. Is AT&T is known of taking, taking uh, advantage of elderly and municipalities. Who, but who owns who owns those uh, the majority of those lines that AT and T is roaming on? You know the answer to that. ZTE. Really? They mm -hmm. own so many of the phone lines. It's unreal. Wow, I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't. They getting paid off of the. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so, you remember uh, Mom Bell? Remember way back, Mom Bell? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> people relate that to Singular. Remember Singular? Mm -hmm. you know I mean? mm -hmm. They, they yeah. actually bought AT and T. People think AT and T bought Singular, but Singular bought AT and T and decided, well, we're gonna keep the name because it's more popular at the time. Right. But what? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, I, I, do that. Uh, I don't believe you. I gotta look it up after this. Check it out. Hey, <laughs> but singular to, go, to go further than that, uh, yeah. Jay is people don't realize because remember back in the day when they deregulated. Okay, they deregulated the 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 uh, the, the carriers or whatever. The, the, mm -hmm. Well, people don't realize AT and T is a representation just about of everything that they broke up. They match back together. Yeah, it's just singular. It's the background behind that. Exactly. Ma Bell. That's what they call them back in the day. Ma Bell. Back in the eighties, yeah. early nineties. Ma Bell. Not a yep. super chat. Not a super chat. Take on the budget. AT and T show up uh, to my father-in-law's house once a week, pushing services. He's in the neighborhood. He's the youngest, and he's in the sixties. And that, wow, the that youngest, show. and he's in the sixties. Look, wow. So <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> that is so weird. But I would ask everybody in the stream. I would ask y'all guys in the panel. In two thousand nineteen, what phone that you're going to have as your daily driver, or up and coming phone that's going to be your daily driver? For me, I got two phones. Before I get to the panel. It's going to be the Galaxy Note 10, obviously, right? And the Xperia 1. That, that's going to be my two phones on the radar. I want to give it to, to everybody else. But in 2019, we already know, look, we hit it rumors and everything, but that's my in, anticipated phones 
all, all my daily drivers for 2019. <clears throat> Who want to go first? Spectacular gadget. Go ahead. The Note 10 and the Huawei Mate 30 X, if they come out with that. Mm -hmm. I got the P30 coming soon, so it's going to be probably Samsung and Huawei. Mm. Samsung and Huawei. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woman. Huh? The Note 10. No 10? Oh. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> I'm Baron. The Baron. You already know the answer to that. It's got to be the note. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it in the back of my head, Huawei. I'm thinking, Kimmy working on me. She working on me. But you know, I, I'm, I'm a note man all the way. Jay, where you at? Xperia One, man. Ooh. Xperia oh. One, because that's the direction that I want the industry to go in, man. For yeah. those that don't have. The twenty-one by nine, nine aspect ratio, oh. they think it's a bad thing. You, you gotta you gotta live with this for about three weeks to a month. You it's you're gonna be using these with one hand on a full oh. keyboard mode. And Xperia Ooh. one is gonna fix all the issues that I have with this Xperia ten. It's gonna be A fifty five processor. It's gonna be boss. Oh, yeah. play. Xperia one. Yeah. Xperia I don't like this phone. I'm not really feeling this this uh Xperia ten plus. Ooh. Not at all. Really? Why? I'm not feeling I, I, I it. I gotta it. do. I, I have to do my video on it. Why? <laughs> what's what's what what things? What key things do you? I wonder if it's some of the things I don't like. What's some of the things that you don't like about it? Well, the the aspect of it is not. I mean, you're right. See, I can hold it with one hand. Um, it, it, I, it's just too bare for me. I guess I, I'm used to all the features of like Samsung, and uh, that's why. That's this why. is kind of yeah. yeah. You didn't win well, I mean, other things, sir. Android That's the thing. You went to open mind. That's why. Because you're coming from a Samsung phone. That's the whole thing. Yeah. So I think people that are coming from Samsung phones going to this device yeah. and looking for the same features, you're not mm. going to get it. Yeah, this Sony is stock is Android. More stock Android. Yeah. But yeah. I actually like the, the Moto G7 better than this phone, to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah, I gave a little bit more high praise to the Moto G7 than the Sony Xperia uh -huh. 10. But the yeah. Sony Xperia 1 is uh, going to knock some phones off their block. Has Ooh. to. It's going to knock them off their block. That's $1,000 right there. Ooh. That yeah. Samsung is $1,000. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. iPhone is $1,000. Mm. All right. All right. So, Kimmy, which will be your phone for 2019? Did you have to ask? Wow! <laughs> if there's a Mate 30X, I'm in there, and then Ooh. the foldable for, from Xiaomi, I'm I'm interested in that. Cool. Ooh. All right, here we go, Dantana. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I was thinking about getting the cool pad, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, gonna <do> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the Samsung and iPhone thing again. So I'm going to go ahead and rock the Note 10 and the iPhone 11. Woo! iPhone 11. Mm -hmm. All right. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be rocking my baby. <laughs> Max. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So people in the stream. What you gonna be rocking in 2019? I see a lot of people say no Tim. Uh, <laughs> I see a lot of people say no Tim, no Tim. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, man. May 20, uh, May uh, May X. So I uh, I see a lot of people in the stream talking about it. Mate, uh, look, Galaxy Note 10 is always the phone of the year. Is man. it gonna be phone of the year 2019? That's the whole thing because. Look, 2018, the uh, the Galaxy Note 8 was, I'm sorry, the 2017, yeah. Galaxy Note 8 was phone of the year. 2018, a lot of people put Galaxy Note phone of the year. Man. Is it going to be 2019? Three years in a row. Is mm. the Galaxy Note going to get the trophy three years in a row? Not if that price ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. They need to come correct. Yeah, that fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars stuff is out the S ten. The S ten is sixteen hundred. Now come right. on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
They gonna have some problems. I ain't buying that expense. I don't care what kind of tech. I don't tech review or influence or whatever. I ain't influence. <laughs> See, this 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 is the only thing. It's tricky with Samsung because everybody's saying they're pricing, but Samsung always comes out the gate giving you something for free. And by the time well, you get that, free. It's, you paying for that in the price? Come on. Well, man. I mean, I, well, I'm. I'm saying that from the, the standpoint that you still got to calculate that into the price. Then on top of that, you know, if you wait two months until after the it drops, True. you're going to get a discount anyway. So I don't, yeah. when everybody jumps on their pricing, I'm like, Samsung's pricing isn't their pricing. It's the only people that really pay that price is the ones that, us, the ones that want to get it out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, you you wait three months and you're getting it at a three hundred dollar discount anyway. Yeah, so, sometimes so, the same day they got bobos. Right. But I won't get one free. Right. So yeah. The, mm -hmm. the biggest question is why do get why do Android phone depreciate? That's the whole thing. Well, there's it's, it's so it, many of them. A lot of them. There's so yeah. many. Of them. Yeah, yeah. It's so many of them. That's just so yeah. many of them. Yeah. Well, they you offer know, them discounts buy, this time too. Buy a phone That's when it first come out. Think about it. The LG V40. Nine hundred dollars, right? You get the LGB forty right now. You go get, you know, uh, a stripper pole in your building and, and everything oh, else. Sorry. I want to get one free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay Will. <laughs> Jay Will. Jay Will. Jay Will. I got to go, I gotta go, go repent after I get off the screen, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have one. mercy. You will get buy one get six free, right? I mean, you yep. know, I mean, just, I'm just wondering why, you know, Android for just like the Galaxy S 10e, about two months from now, it's gonna be very half off. I mean, it's gonna be cheap. Yeah. Why look what look what, uh, look what T Mobile's doing to the G8 already. T Mobile's right. already knocking two hundred dollars off the G8 before yeah. it even come out. Yeah. Well, the thing mm. is, is you gotta realize that it's the same thing in the computer world. You can buy a computer, you know, with Windows on it, and it can cost you eighteen hundred dollars today. And you can go back and buy that same computer four months later for half the price. Unfortunately, you, with Max, you can't do that. It costs more. It, exactly. <laughs> but a Mac because, costs the same price. Yeah, Apple has that privilege because it's a contained environment. That's the only place you can get that OS. It's the only place that you can buy that that product. So they can control, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's more of a control environment. They're only, Apple is only competing against Apple at some point, you know, when it comes to value of a product. But Whereas, they don't control a resale value, we are. So when we hype something up and we, like um, a Fabergé egg, that's a great example. A Fabergé mm -hmm. egg can sit on my desk and I ain't gonna think nothing of it. But some other people are gonna come along and say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. A Fabergé <laughs> egg. I'll give you a hundred million dollars for it. I'm like, it's just a piece of diamonds and some plastic. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm so I, I don't think Apple's the hype beast. I think that's our fault. That's our fault for hyping it up like that, you know? And then saying yeah. that it's really, really good. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying in general, I think the hype beasts come from the people. Like, Apple's good at their marketing, but if we don't buy into their hype, how good will the iPhones be then? And that, well, you speaking to my, that's what my point is when I'm, when I'm talking about Apple, that's the reason why I'm talking about Apple yeah. is because it's everybody's buying into the hype machine and I don't think it's healthy for the product. That's why Apple is where in the state that is in now, because they've gotten comfortable because the customer allows them to get comfortable. Nobody see, else can get comfortable. See, it was so funny when I had Wild Bag Nail on here. And we was talking about, you know, Blackberry and stuff like that. Boy, he has a whole lot of insight uh, on what we was talking about. And it, it, one of the things that I, I'm looking at is that for the average consumer in the United States, what they go buy? Mm -hmm. iPhone? It's Samsung, right? The Galaxy S10 is hyped. They pick it up. They got the little, the little you know, Oreo on the side of the device. And the people love it. Yeah, the iPhone. Hmm. You know, they say mm -hmm. this is the best iPhone on the planet. They go buy it. So, in but as techies, we we dissect the product. We look at the product and say, you know what? Let's let's go deeper. 
as to why it's good or bad. And you know what? The average consumer is not stupid. See, here's the thing. People tell me, easy, the average consumer don't care about pro mode. I look at it like the average consumer ain't stupid like they used to be. The average consumer is a lot smarter than you think. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I listen to a lot of people, and a lot of people tell me, well, easy, the average consumer don't care about that. I beg to differ. I think the average consumer is a lot more smarter than we think, especially when it comes down to $1,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, even though you put it on device payment plans and stuff like that, we as 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 tech reviewers or influencers or whatever you call, our responsibility is to, is to tell the truth about the device, our opinion about the phone. Right. And um, I, I, I just despise, you know, a lot of people that come to easy me and say, um, the average consumer don't care about all that. I, I don't think the average consumer is stupid people. I think the average consumer is a lot smarter than we think. I think so too. But I think the carriers think that the average consumers are stupid because what did they do recently? They introduced 36 month plans. Ooh, Ooh and they right time want to be on the finance. <laughs> Man, Tana, Tana shook his head like, "Oh Lord, yeah." Who, who in their right <laughs> mind want to be on a plan financing a phone for thirty six months? Yeah. I, that's you crazy. Know, that, that is that is dumb. I mean, you know, and it, 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 you know what's what's so crazy is that the average consumer that watch YouTube, right? They watch YouTube every time they have a problem. What do they do? They watch YouTube now. YouTube is screwing over us smaller YouTubers because yeah. we don't get, you know, recognized because the top it, of the it, search engine. We right, ain't at the it, top of the search engine. Right. No. So if, if if the average consumer put in Galaxy S10, what what are you going to see when you search Galaxy S10? You got mm -hmm. the big boys, right? And then we are down in the toilet pole. So people make their decisions based off of certain things and look i'm not knocking the big people i'm just saying that the average consumer needs to do their research before they make decisions you know and um, that's the whole thing Good. i just want to say thank you to 10 minute tech reviews for the two dollars super chat he said yeah. great panel of guests easy yes everybody here is awesome right and so thank you very much and look we usually do a two-hour stream, and we are at the three-hour. Um, three hours? Wow. Yeah, yeah, three hours. So It's past my bedtime. That was going to get out of here. <laughs> and the only reason why we went over is because we had a great conversation going on. Yes. It's, it's so hard to end a live stream where you got knowledge going on. But um, we got to get out of here. So... <laughs> <laughs> Jana, tell everybody how to find you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just catch me at youtube.com backslash Tana does check two ends and Tana. Same way on IG and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Come rock with me on those formats and everything. And I yes, really sir. do appreciate you, man. I mean, you're doing your thing, man. Keep on doing your thing, bro. I mean, I see your growth of your, of your channel. You're doing your thing, my brother. Man, man appreciate I, you. I, 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 and salute to you. Man, salute to you and thank you for having me on your stream, bro. I really appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes. All right. Jay Will. We yeah. everybody know who you are, man. But man, for the people that don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm just out here trying to um stay afloat and get some views in, man. Every time I, I'm late on everything. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't care what time I got. I ain't, I ain't trying to keep up with everybody else, man. I'm trying to just get my get my thing on, man. I'm over changing out my outer box, you know what I'm saying? While I'm I got the pro series, man. This pro series is so sweet. The pro series, people don't. Hey, you know a special shout out to Technically T because he hate out of box. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, special shout out to Technically hey, T for hating out of box. Hey, you know I, mean, I had Technically T on his uh, on the bunch of out of boxes around this joint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hate out. No, but uh, yeah, I'm on social media, man. I'm trying to push my new channel, man. Three ninety two Silver Bullet. Uh, I had to. I separated my car channel, my car stuff from my tech stuff at the request of certain people. They said I don't want to see no cars on here, so I said, "All right, I create another channel." So you know, I'm really staying focused on that, man. My tech channel is what it is, man. I'm just on there reviewing a whole bunch of junk. You know what I'm saying? Buying stuff, reviewing it, and giving it away. I got like a thousand Galaxy S10 cases that I ain't gonna review because I ain't buying no more than phones. 
try and get my, you know, hey, real quick before I get out of here, what would you do? Would you get a Galaxy Note 9 brand new for $600 or would you get a Galaxy S10 Plus for $840? Uh, I get, no, no, I get no, 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 no. Boom, there it is. It's man, Jay. <laughs> the Baron, tell everybody how to find you. Uh, I'm phone snob on IG, and I am on Twitter as LB uh, Burton Senior. For sure. All right. So doing the world of flavor dot com is my website. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Get that popcorn in there. Get, the, get your popcorn ready. <laughs> follow me on this journey. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's what I'm talking about. Like every Wednesday night, guys, this is what we do here. And I really do appreciate all my guests, my panel. Woo! I feel so hyped tonight. I, I might shoot a video today, but I, I had too much of that adult beverage. So I may not do a, a video. Man, tonight. You just sound so weird. Don't mean you go to sleep. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I, I really do appreciate everybody that came on the stream today. And don't forget about this Saturday, we're going to have the men. In the building, Lara. So we're gonna do an all male stream this Saturday. All right, so um, we're gonna be epic. Uh, we're gonna have epic, and guess what? This Saturday is not gonna be techies, it's all gonna be you know, average guys, average consumers, and we're gonna talk about a lot of things in between. So don't forget about this Saturday night. We're going all in this Saturday night. This is Eric from Computer Solution. Thank y'all guys very much for watching the stream. I really do appreciate it. See y'all guys on the next video. Peace.